Marvin, guess what came in the mail today? These nuts. My grandparents' ashes. Oh, wait, your grandparents' ashes? Like both of them? Yeah, Marvin, they wanted to be mixed together for all eternity. Wait, so they're both inside this thing? Ew, that's their ashes? Yes, Marvin, they died, they were cremated, they wanted to be put in this priceless, one-of-a-kind vase that's been passed down from generation to generation in my family. Well, can we put it, like, in the closet or something? I don't want to look at it, it's weird. Oh, no, Marvin, they love kitchens. They said when we die, put us in the kitchen. Okay, well, I'm not going to sit in the kitchen and look at your grandparents' death sand, okay? I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, okay. All right, guys, are you ready to kick the soccer ball in the house? Yeah! yeah. But, Junior, what if we break something? Cody, are you 40 years old? What if we break something? Yeah, be a kid for once. Well, I just don't want to get in trouble. We're not going to get in trouble. Hey, Jeffy, I'm going to kick the ball to you first. Okay. Ugh. Mm. Ugh. I got it, I got it. My turn. Ugh. Watch this! Oh, what was that? It sounded like you broke something. It sounded like you broke something. Cody, that's what you sound like. If you ever want to know what you sound like, that's what you sound like. Well, okay, that doesn't change that you broke something. Okay, how do you know I broke something? Because there was a loud crash from the kitchen. But what if there's a speaker in there that plays crashing glass sounds? What, why would you have that? You know they're like little machines that play nature noises? Maybe it's on the crashing glass sound channel. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very relaxing. Crashing glass sounds. I'd like to fall asleep to that. Uh, guys, do you think I broke something? Nah. No. See, look, guys, it's three against one, so I didn't break anything. Okay, let's go check. Okay, what do I get when there's nothing broken there? Uh, five dollars. Okay, I'm about to get five dollars. Okay. Oh no! What happened here? Junior, this is the thing you broke! Wait, so there's not a machine that makes broken glass noises in here? No, you don't have one of those. Yes, I do! And what is all this stuff? I think it's someone's ashes. Wow, they have a serious smoking problem if they have that much ashes. But no, Junior, I mean like human ashes. Like, this used to be people. Dude, this is a lot of people. Alright, guys, okay, what are we gonna do about this? But what are we gonna do, Junior? You're the one who broke it. What? No, we all broke it, because we all kicked the soccer ball. But you hit it last. No, Jeffy hit it last. No, you hit it last! Guys, it doesn't matter that Jeffy hit it last. We just have to focus on cleaning it up. So uh, I'm gonna sweep up the ashes and let's put it inside a vase that looks just like it. Junior, where are we gonna find a vase that looks just like this one? Hey guys, look at this vase I found that looks just like that one. What? What? Oh, oh, Jeffy, come on, Jeffy. Oh. come on, we needed that. Oh. <gasps> ah! Grandpa, Grandpa! <laughs> All right, who did it? Jeffy did it. What? Yeah, yeah, Jeffy did it, Jeffy did it. Yeah, Jeffy did it. Oh, screw you guys! That's it, Jeffy, you're grounded! But I didn't do it! Your friends ratted you out and said you did it, so you're coming with me! <laughs> All right, Jeffy, that's it, you're grounded! But I didn't break the vase! Yes, you did! Well, I didn't break the first vase, but I broke the second vase. There was only one vase, Jeffy! No, there wasn't! There were two vases! No, it was one of a kind price was handed down for generations! Exactly, there was only one vase, Jeffy. <laughs> Guys, if there were two vases, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Prove them wrong. Jeffy, there was only one vase and you broke it because your friend said you broke it. My friends are no longer my friends anymore because they framed me. Jeffy gets framed. It's the title of the video. Jeffy, you're grounded for a month. This house is a prison. Go to your room. Daddy, I'm going to prove to you that my friends framed me. Okay, then do that then. But you're the one who broke it. <laughs> it's okay, baby. We'll, we'll go sweep it up and we'll put it in like a litter box or something. <laughs> All right, guys, what color do you think goes next? Oh, dude, totally the orange one. Oh, definitely orange. No. What's up, D-Bags? Oh, hey, Jeffy. Sorry we had to blame it on you. Because of you guys, I lost TV for a month. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah, sorry, Jeffy. You guys better go tell my dad the truth or else I'm going to ruin all of your lives. But, but they, they already think you did it, so just take the blame on this one. So you've chosen death. I hope you guys enjoy it. Dude, what is Jeffy gonna do? Uh, I don't know. He's not gonna do anything. All right, guys, I think blue is next. No. All right, guys, I think we put them in the perfect order. <sighs> you guys cannot be serious. Well, you can't do it any better. Yeah, uh, guys, I think I'm just gonna go get Ken and go home. Wait, where'd you leave Ken at? Oh, he's on the couch downstairs. I left Ken right here. Wait, wait, what's this? If you ever want to see Ken again, admit that I didn't break the vase. Jeffy must have taken Ken. Junior, you have to go admit that you broke the vase right now. What? No, I'm not going to get grounded just so you can get your stupid dumb doll back. But Junior, I need Ken back. Well, look, nothing's going to happen to Ken. But, but what if he hurts him? Dude, he's a doll. Yeah, he's a doll. How is he going to hurt a dumb doll? He's not going to hurt him. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, down there, dude. What? Hey, Cody, there's a package here for you. But to me? But this is your house. I know, that's weird. We should open it. <clears throat> so, Cody, why did a package for you come to my house? I don't know. It's really weird. What'd you order? New glasses? 
<laughs> new glasses? Yeah, new glasses. Why would I order new glasses? Because you love to collect glasses and wear them. But do you think I wear glasses because I collect glasses? No, I wear glasses because my eyes don't work right. So did you order new eyes? <laughs> new eyes? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna open the box now. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Wait, there's no more pieces of in there? No, it's just his head. What? Junior, we have to go tell the truth right now. What? No, I'm not going to tell the truth just because you got Ken's head. But Junior, look what he did to him. Oh, look, look, but maybe the other pieces will come in the mail. <laughs> See, look, that might be another box with another piece to him. Come on. <laughs> Hello? Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? We're very disappointed in you, Cody. What, what did I do? You ate a Baconator, Cody. We're Jewish. We're not supposed to eat pork. Well, I didn't eat a Baconator. Oh, yeah? Well, then why did we find this Baconator wrapper in your room? Along with a note that says, ha, 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 I ate this Baconator from Wendy's. So you're going to laugh in our face. Ooh, you're going to burn in Jewish hell for that. Well, why would I leave a note about something I'm not allowed to do? Because you're just that cocky, Cody. You didn't think you'd get caught. Why couldn't you just have eaten a Dave's? Double. Well, I did! I love Dave's doubles! I get them all the time! I don't wanna hear you coming home right now, okay? We're gonna give you a spankinator. <sighs> Tell the truth, Junior! Well, I don't wanna get grounded! <sighs> Whoa, dude, Cody's life is ruined, just like Jeffy said! Well, do you think Jeffy's gonna try to ruin our lives? Nah, I don't have parents, so I'd love to see him try. Give me your best shot. <laughs> Who's the door? Mm. Hello? Joseph? Mommy? Yes! I came back because I love you and I want to be a family again. Really? Yes. <gasps> ah, mommy! Why? <laughs> you guys ready to tell the truth? Jimmy, you ruined my life! Then tell the truth! Or Jimmy, just stop doing this! Then tell the truth! Whew. Oh, man. Oh, it's really hot in that thing. All right, kid, you get my hundred bucks? Yeah, it's right here in my diaper. You can go ahead and grab it. Right, thank you. Man, you really made that guy feel pretty bad. Yeah, he got me grounded. Oh. Well, I mean, I'd feel bad if I were you, but whatever. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. I got a whole bunch more costumes. All right, thanks. Mm-mm-mm! Mm, my famous soup is almost ready! Oh, hey, Jeffy. What are you doing? Wait, why are you getting closer to me? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Joseph. Dude, my whole life is ruined. Just tell the truth. Well, I don't want to get grounded. Dude, just tell the truth. Junior, dinner's ready. Oh, dinner's ready. Oh man, I'm so hungry. What did Chef Pee make me? Oh, he made you his famous soup. What? Wait, what's in this? Chef Pee Pee? What? No, I know he made the soup, but what's in this? Chef Pee Pee. Chef Pee. Oh. 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 You killed Chef Pee Pee! Yep, and I'm gonna keep going until you tell the truth. What? No, I want Chef Pee Pee back. Are you gonna tell the truth? Man, you got Junior so good. Yep, here's your hundred bucks. Thank you very much. That'll teach him a lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want the truth? Okay, Jimmy did not break your stupid dumb grandparents' face. I broke it. I was the last one to kick the soccer ball, and I'm the one who broke it. So ungrounded so we can stop killing our families. Mother, father, I demand an apology. Wait, so Jeffy, you did not break that vase? Nope. Well, I broke the second one, but not the first one. So your friends lied? Yes, they framed me. Wait, the title of the video. Jeffy gets framed, we should have paid attention. Yeah, I've been telling you guys that. Well, Jeffy, we're sorry for grounding you. We just, we just thought you did it. Now kiss my hand. Kiss your hand? Kiss my hand. <sighs> Ow! Now don't you ever try to take my TV away from me again. <sighs> now, which one of you is going to go sweep up grandma and grandpa? <laughs> What do I do? What do I do? Hey, Boynie, you look so stressed out. That's because I am stressed out, Karen. Why are you in your dentist uniform? You don't work today. Oh, it's National Love Your Dentist Day. What? Yeah, it's June 2nd. This is the day where everybody calls up their dentist and tells them how much they love them and appreciate what they do for their teeth. That's not a real thing, Boynie. Yeah, it is. Oh, hold on, Karen. My phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, thank you for fixing my teeth. Yeah, you're welcome. I love you. Okay, thanks, buddy. Hey, you keep flossing, you hear me? 
Ugh, my phone has been blowing up all day. Boy, that's just silly. Oh, look here. You got us a rotisserie chicken. I guess I don't have to cook dinner tonight. Well, of course I got us a rotisserie chicken, Karen. It's National Rotisserie Chicken Day. What? Yeah, June 2nd. No, Boyne, th th there's no way there can be more than one holiday in a day. Sure there can, Karen. It's June 2nd. It's also National Rocky Road Ice Cream Day. What? Yeah, and I gotta get this ice cream down to the strip club. Why, Boyne? Well, because it's also National Sex Workers Day. Boyne, you're not going to the strip club. Oh, hold on, Karen. My phone's ringing again. Hello? Hey, buddy. I'm sorry I forgot what today is. That's okay. I love you. Yeah, okay. Well, thank so you. So much. Yeah, th thank, thank you. Thank you for the tea. Yeah, thank you. Boyne, why aren't you saying I love you back? Well, it's National Love Your Dentist Day, not Love Your Patient Day. That's a completely different day. But look, Karen, I'm already really stressed out because they're throwing me a big I Love My Dentist party down at the dentist's office, and of course I have to go because I'm the dentist, but I also really want to go to the Rotisserie Chicken Eating Contest Festival downtown, but it's also Rocky Road Ice Cream Night down at the strip club because whenever you go there, it makes your marriage a rocky road. Boyney, you can't do all that stuff in one day. It's impossible to be all in those places at once. Hmm, you're right, Karen. I should clone myself. No, Boyney, I think you should stay at home with me. No, it's okay, Karen. I heard you the first time. Clone myself. Good idea. No, Boyney, hang out here with me. Yeah, I'm gonna go figure out how to clone myself. Thanks, Karen. Boyney, that's not what I said! There's no way you think you'd be safer in the woods with a bear than a man. But I don't know what that man would do to me, Junior. I know what the bear would do to you. The bear would eat you. You don't know that. Well, bear is a term for a big hairy gay dude, so I'm gonna pick bear. Hey, any of you kids have a clone machine? Yeah, Cody has a clone machine. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I gotta clone myself because I have a whole bunch of shit to do today. What do you have to do on a Sunday? It's June 2nd, so it's National Rotisserie Chicken Day, Rocky Road Ice Cream Day, Sex Worker Day, and National Love Your Dentist Day. Oh, I forgot. It's also National Bubba Day. I gotta call my buddy Bubba. Hello? Hey, Bubba. Thanks for being Bubba. Oh, no problem, bud, and thank you for being my dentist. I love you. Love you too, buddy. <sighs> Oh, there's a lot of holidays today. Yeah, it's also National Cancer Survivor Day. Oh, and National Janice Day. I forgot to call Janice. Hello? Hey, Janice. Thanks for being Janice. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for being my dentist. I love you. Love you, too. And hey, congratulations on surviving cancer. Oh, thank you. Hey, didn't you just get off the phone with Bubba? Yeah, I did. Oh, is that the dentist? Sure is. Wait, he's there? Yeah, we're engaged. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. You want to come to the wedding today? Wait, oh, wow, well, what a day. I mean, Bubba and Janice, the cancer survivors, are both getting married on Bubba and Janice and Cancer Survivor Day. We sure are. Yeah. Hey, what What did he say? He said uh, that he was going to come to the wedding, right? You're coming to the wedding? Yeah, I'll come to the wedding. Awesome. <laughs> oh, tell him I love him. Hey, Bubba says he loves you and I love you too. Love you both. Oh, fuck, I have to go to a wedding now. Hey, Dad, can you also make a clone for me to have a father that's actually around? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was wine like a little bitch day. Fuck you, Dad. Oh, if it was National Ground Your Daughter Day, I'd do it, but it's not, so go home and eat your Rocky Road ice cream. Fine! And your rotisserie chicken, but brush your teeth and don't eat too much. Ugh. Anyway, clone machine, please. Yeah, Cody, grab your clone machine. <gasps> he needs it. All right, here it is. The cloning machine. C -c -c cloning machine. C -c 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 cloning machine. Patent approved. What's it do? Shut up, Junior. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna need like three more of me. Okay, no problem. Just uh, hop on in there. Like this? Yeah. Right, get in there. <laughs> okay. And then I just set this to quadruple mode. And now we wait. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Okay, everybody look at me. Hey, he looks just like me. Hey, he looks just like me. Hey, he looks just like me. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I am the original Brooklyn guy, okay? That is why I am wearing clothes. Now, we have a lot to do today, okay? So you, you're gonna go to a rotisserie chicken eating contest festival. Got it. And you, you're gonna go to a wedding. It's Bubba and Janice. They're cancer survivors. Get them a nice gift. Got it. And you, you, hey, hey, you, yeah. You're gonna go to an I Love My Dentist party, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, so just put on this outfit. There you go, not looking too shabby. Isn't he a Scooby-Doo? No, that's Shaggy. I said shabby. You got me in the closet? It wasn't me. No, that's also Shaggy. Look, you have to go be a dentist at an I Love My Dentist party, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so where are you gonna go since they're doing your errands? I'm gonna go eat Rocky Road ice cream at a strip club. So thanks for the cloning machine, guys. Oh man, I can't wait to eat ice cream and look at boobies. What? What the hell, guys? Oh, hey, broken guy, what's up? Oh, hey, broken guy, what's up? Boobies. What? Guys, what the hell are you doing here? I sent you guys out to go do stuff. You're supposed to be at a rotisserie chicken eating contest festival. You're supposed to be at a wedding, and you're supposed to be at the dentist party. But we heard you were going to eat ice cream and go to a strip club, and that just sounded like a lot more fun. Well, yeah, of course it's a lot more fun. That's why I'm the one doing it. You guys are supposed to be out there doing the things I don't want to do as much. That's why you're the clones. Oh, my God, quadruplets. That's like four times the cash. Four times the penis. Guys, get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you too, buddy. But I like the boobies. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm staying here and you're going to the dentist party. Okay. 
Okay, sorry about that, ma'am. Now just to eat my ice cream. <laughs> we are gathered here today to witness the union of Bubba and Janice, two cancer survivors who love rotisserie chicken. I love you, Janice. Aw, oh, shoot, I love you, Bubba. If anybody has any reason why these two should not be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object. What? I'm just kidding. Sorry I'm late, everybody. Hey, that's our dentist. Our dentist? Hey, I love that guy. I love you, man. Okay. I love you, too. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, buddy, what are you trying to do to my wife? What the hell was that? I, I was making out with her because she said she loved me. No, you were trying to get with my wife. I wasn't born yesterday. Well, I was actually born today. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, man. I love you. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of what you just tried to do to my wife, but I still love you because you're my dentist. Okay, I'm getting really mixed signals here. Is it okay if I kiss your wife or not? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, you want to fight, buddy? Hell yeah, wedding fight. <laughs> Oh shit, I hit the wrong guy. I'm I am so sorry. I, I'm embarrassed. I, I I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. Alright everyone, when the dentist gets here, we're all gonna yell surprise, we love you to show him how much we love him. Oh yeah, the dentist is gonna love that. Balloon. Surprise, surprise we love you! Ah! Ow, why'd you punch me in the face? Scared. Doctor, you don't have to be scared. This is your surprise we love you dentist party. Nello. Yes, that balloon is yellow. Green. Yes, that balloon's green. Bunk. All right, doctor, did you get into the laughing gas again? Gas. I can poop. <clears throat> All right, he definitely did. Uh, hey, doctor, Linda from HR has something to say. Well, Mr. Brooklyn guy, I know I've had to write you up a lot in the past, but I was thinking that since today is Love Your Dentist Day, that we could just wipe your slate clean as long as you promise not to do anything bad again. Boobies. I'm gonna <gasps> grab them. No! Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, someone called 911! Hello and welcome to the Yummy Yummy Rotisserie Chicken Eating Contest Festival. Each of you has a rotisserie chicken in front of you, and the first person that eats all of their rotisserie chicken wins a $25 CC's Pizza gift card and $10,000 in cash. That $25 CC's Pizza gift card is as good as mine. $10,000? I could spend that on strippers. And now for the rules. You're not allowed to use your hands, only your mouth. All right, I'll see you later. All right, that was my side chick. Now for your rules, all you have to do is eat all your chicken. Three, two, one, yummy, yummy chicken time. No, you just said yummy, yummy chicken time. You're losing, you're losing. Oh my God, I am losing. Uh, I'm taking the money. Oh my God, he stole the prize money. Someone call the cops, hurry. Oh damn, oh damn, 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 she's going crazy, look at her, damn. Whoa, whoa, guys, what are you doing here? You done already? Uh, yeah, I won the contest and I got $10,000. Oh, nice, we can use that on the strippers. Hey, how'd the wedding go? Um, you made an appearance. They definitely know you were there. Oh, nice. And how'd the dentist party go? Boobies. Uh, okay, w w was Linda from HR there? You didn't embarrass me in front of Linda, did you? No. Okay, good. Guys, quit your yapping. Boobies! Big old knockers! Officer Simmons, get in here! Yes, sir? It seems your partner, Officer Guy, has gone rogue. <gasps> oh, no! He's stolen $10,000 and assaulted multiple people, and he needs to be stopped. <coughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> I don't know. He's just unhinged. I'll understand if you don't want to bring him in. I can send a different officer. <coughs> no, sir. No, he's my partner. I have to bring him in. Okay, bring him in dead or alive. All right, but before I go, can I have some of your Rocky Road ice cream? No, you can have some ice cream when you bring Officer Guy in here. Now go and get it. Yes, sir. My Rocky Road. Freeze, Guy, you're under arrest. What's going on? What's going on? Simmons, what's going on? Boobies. You know what you did. What? Why are there four of you? Oh, yeah, I cloned myself, and these are all my clones. What did they do? Well, you stole $10,000 from a contest, you punched a wedding officiant, and made out with the bride, and you also punched an HR lady. Wow, you guys really fucked up my life. So I'm gonna have to arrest all four of you until I can figure out which one's the real you. No, Simmons, I'm the real one, and these are all clones. No, I'm the real one. No, I'm the real one. Boobies. No, Simmons, ask a question only I would know. All right, what color am I? Eyes. Blue. Oh, right, you're the real one! Wait, no, no, Simmons, everybody can see your eyes. He just answered first. That's a real question. All right. What does your mom scream out when I'm banging her? No, Simmons, I'm not answering that. Come on, man. I know you heard it. <sighs> Chew poppy mignogno. No, say it the way she says it. Ugh. Chew poppy mignogno. Oh, you're the real one! Bang, bang, bang! What the fuck, Simmons? You didn't have to execute them. You could have just arrested them. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I thought we were in, like, a movie or something. No, no, they weren't holding me at gunpoint. Jesus, do you know how traumatizing it is to see yourself get shot three times? Well, I'm sorry, mate. Maybe next time don't fucking clone yourself or something. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. God, this is the worst June 2nd I've ever had. I'm going home.
Uh, I can't believe summer break's over already. I know, dude. I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, come on, guys. Don't get your panties in a bunch. It's school, and you can't spell school without cool and taking out the H, because otherwise it would just be cahool. Oh yeah, and I guess you have to take out the S too. But you can't spell school without the letters in cool. You can't spell your mom without fat. <laughs> you can't! What? No, 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 because the letters F, A, and T don't even show up in your mom. So that shows how much you guys know. This is why you have to go to school. Welcome back, class. Today is the first day of school. And to celebrate, you have a bunch of homework. We have to make up for all that time you had off during summer break. A bunch of homework? Come on, it's the first day of school, teach. Give us a break. Oh, come on, guys. We were just complaining we didn't do anything all summer, but now we have homework. Isn't that exciting? Yippee! Well, I don't want to hear any complaints, class. Two months of no school, you could have forgotten everything you learned last year. So this is going to help you remember. Come on, guys. He's right. Knowledge is power. Dude, flip this desk one more time, please. Hold on, guys. Look at the drawing I just did of the teacher. <laughs> no way, dude. Tiny wee wee. <laughs> That's messed up, Junior! Ooh, let me see, let me see. Pass it to Cody, pass it to Cody. <laughs> you, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Hey, Cody! What do you have on your desk? Show me! Uh, Junior, take your picture back! It's not my picture. Yeah, that's all you, bro. Yo, oh, guys! Cody, show me that right now! Uh, no, no, nothing. It, 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 it's, it's a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog naked. I'm one of those weird kids. Cody, show me what you have on your desk right now! No, he has a really big dong. I don't think you really want to see Show it. me, Cody! <laughs> You have bunch of homework? I have tiny wee wee! I didn't do it, Junior drew it. I did not draw that, it was Cody. Yeah, Cody did it. Oh no, dude! I am going to tell the principal right now! Well, no, guys, tell the truth! What's wrong, Cody? Stop being a wimp. <laughs> it's the first day of school. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Alright, Cody, the principal is on his way, and I'm gonna show him this! <laughs> Is Joseph okay? Mr. Chu, why did you summon me here from my comfortable office? Cause the student over there in the glasses, his name is Cody, and he drew this. <laughs> Let me get a peek. He drew this? He did. Cody, come here! <laughs> you drew this? No. Don't lie to me, boy! Don't lie to the principal. If you do, you're gonna be expelled. <laughs> okay, fine, I drew it. Do you know what I'm gonna do to you for drawing this? <laughs> I'm gonna enter you to the International Drawing Competition! Wait, what? Yeah! This drawing is magnificent! It's the best we've ever seen! Mm hmm And we enter one student every year in the International Drawing Competition, but we lose. But you? You have a gift, boy! Wait a minute, wait a minute! I drew that drawing! Stop taking credit for other people's work! You didn't do this! Huh? You're suspended for lying! But you, you're a genius! Huh? I need you to bring that A-game tomorrow! Cause the competition's tomorrow, okay? But, but I didn't draw this! Stop being modest! Huh? I need you to bring that A-game! Chu, I think you found us a winner. I know, my eyes may be slant, but I know good talent when I see it. Mm -hmm. I'm out! Oh, great, Junior. Now I'm entered into some stupid drawing competition, and I don't even know how to draw. I know how to draw. It should be me in that competition. Well, that's what you get for lying, Junior. You should have fessed up in the beginning. Well, I thought I was going to get in trouble. I didn't know I was going to be entered into a competition. Well, seriously, Junior, what are we going to do? Because if I don't win this competition, I'm pretty sure Steinbeck will literally kill me. I mean, just look what he did to Joseph. Yeah, I think Joseph's going to be out for the whole video. Oh, Penelope, can you come back to my house and help me and Cody think of a plan? Oh, uh, okay. Ugh. All right, Cody, what's the plan? Well, I suck at drawing, so I guess I'm going to have to learn how to draw. Aw, don't say that, Cody. I'm sure you're decent at drawing. <laughs> no, no, I'm terrible. Come on, Cody, show us how you can draw. Show us something. Okay, um... Draw a cat. But a cat, that's that's the one that meows, right? Yeah, draw it. Um, okay, so it's that. What the, the hell? This, this, that's the tail there. What? I got four legs, so that's what those are. And then, uh, it's got two ears, right? Two... And then some whiskers, and then there's a little eye. There you go, that's a cat. You suck at drawing, Cody! Yeah, that's horrible, Cody! Oh, yeah, it's not like I just told you that. Okay, no, no, there's no way you can draw in this competition. You're gonna lose! I know. Well, so, what are we gonna do? 
I don't know. Wait, Junior, you're really good at drawing, right? Uh, it's not like they were just Googling over my drawing saying it was amazing and entered him in a competition. Yeah, I'm good at drawing. Okay, so what if you were to draw for Cody in the competition? How is that even gonna work, Penelope? They're gonna see him drawing. Yeah, like, that doesn't make it- oh, I got an idea! Cody, how many of those ugly blue shirts do you have? I have a whole closet full. Okay, grab me one. Oh, okay. Okay, Junior, I brought you two shirts, and I don't think they look ugly. In fact, I think I look pretty spiffy. What was your idea with the shirts? Me, 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 me. Why did you invite me? Just wait and see what my idea is. Ugh. All right, Cody, what do you think? Junior, this is not gonna work. How is it not gonna work? I'm inside your shirt, my hand's sticking out, I can draw for you, it's gonna work. They're definitely gonna see you sticking out of my back, and your legs are very obvious. Look, they're just gonna think you have back problems, or like you have a boil on your back. Ugh, Junior, I feel so constricted. I can't even reach my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Junior, this is the dumbest idea you've ever had. You look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Ah, get wrecked, Cody. Junior, she was insulting you. Junior, why don't you just teach Cody how to draw? Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, Junior. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just teach you. I can't even breathe. Yeah, let me get out of here. I'll teach you how to draw. <sighs> All right, Cody. Are you ready to learn how to draw like a pro? Please, because I, I need help. Because you're going to learn how to draw a cat for real, not whatever the hell this thing is. Yeah, I hope not. Okay, so start off with a medium circle. Um. Man, that's that's pretty big. Uh, draw another medium circle right next to it. Uh, over here? Okay. Uh. okay, now put dots in between each one. Wait. Are you making me draw boobies? What? No, no, these are not boobies. Okay, so now I want you to draw the nose. So you draw like an upside down three leaf clover. What? An upside down three leaf clover, like between the the, the, the booby things. What? Like, like. Yes, like yeah, that? just like that. Now, now draw a round W connecting to the nose. A round like, like that. Yeah, like that, like that. Okay. Now put dots in between the W. Um, like. Just yeah, dots all over it. All, okay, just a lot of dots. Get a lot of dots. Okay. Now put whiskers. I'll do lines coming out each side. What, um, like, uh, that? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now, now do like a little, like, scribbly, like, like, round, like, like, scribbly under circle, like, half circle underneath that for the mouth. Wait, so, like. It, kinda. No, 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 scribble all the way around it. Um, scribble all the way around. Doing that. Um. Yeah, yeah, like that. Okay. Now, now give it two triangle ears. Um, how's that? Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. Eh, boom! Isn't that a cat? I mean, it's better than what I did. See, look, you're getting better. So now if we just do this all night, you'll eventually draw a professional-looking cat. I don't think this is going to work, Junior. I don't think I'm going to get any better. Oh, no, okay, how about this? During the drawing competition, you have a walkie-talkie earpiece in your ear, and I'll have a walkie-talkie, and I'll tell you exactly how to draw it. What you telling me what to draw isn't going to help. It's still going to suck. Well, I just told you how to draw this, and look, that cat looks a lot better than whatever that thing is. I, I mean, I'm not going to win a competition with this. Okay, you know what, Cody? You suck at drawing. How about that? You what? just suck, and then we're gonna, we're gonna lose. Well, I know. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Wait, I got an idea. What if you call the principal and say that you broke both your hands and you can't draw tomorrow? Wait, yeah, th th that actually could work, because if my hands are broken, I can't draw. Yeah, so call the principal and say you fell off your bike and you broke both your hands and you just can't draw tomorrow. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm calling the principal. It's ringing. Ooh, hot enough in my area, you say? <laughs> Bring it to me. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, hello? Principal Steinbeck speaking. Uh, uh, it, it, hello, it's me, Cody. Ooh, the young Picasso. How are you, boy? Uh, oh, I was riding my bike home today and I crashed. Do you need another bike? Uh, no, I, I, I crashed and I broke both my hands so I can't draw. Well, well, draw with your toes! I broke all of those too. Listen, boy, we need you for this drawing competition, okay? We have never won and we need to win at least one time. I promised my mom on her deathbed that we would win at least once. And you're gonna win it for us, okay? You ain't, you're gonna win it. Don't screw me over, boy! Oh. Now, where are the hot milfs? So what do you say? We're good? You don't have to draw in the competition? No, I can't back out. He seems pretty committed. But you broke both your hands! Well, yeah, he didn't really seem to care. What, so you still have to draw? You're gonna lose! I have an idea. Junior, why don't you just dress up like Cody? Like, wear his glasses, his overalls, his bow tie? But yeah, that actually seems like a really good idea. Cody, you really think a girl can come up with a good idea? Well, yeah, I thought it was a good idea. Who invented the airplane? The Wright brothers, not the Wright sisters. Okay, but Amelia Earhart went around the world or whatever. And got lost. If a man would have been flying that plane, she wouldn't have gotten lost. Who invented peanut butter? George Washington Carver. 
two George Washingtons did two good things. First president and invented peanut butter. How many female presidents are there, Cody? Well, we have a female vice president. <laughs> if the girls get lucky, then she'll take over if the other one dies. Whatever. What'd you say? Just dress up like Cody. Dumb. I know. I got an idea. I can just dress up like Cody. And then they'll think I'm Cody. That's literally what Penelope just said. Oh, Are no. you serious right now? I'm leaving. Every woman says that eventually in every relationship. All right, Cody. I'm going to dress up like you. Okay. All right, Cody. What do you think? Wow, Junior. You look pretty good. I think we might actually pull this off. Yeah, so I'm going to win the drawing competition. And when everyone's screaming, Cody, Cody, I'm going to take these glasses off and this outfit and let them know who really drew that picture. Well, don't do that. When they know you're not me, you might get disqualified or something. Well, I want people to know that I'm good at drawing. You're so stupid. You get all the credit for that dumb drawing, but it was my drawing. But no, no, Junior. It doesn't matter that you're good at drawing, okay? We just need to win this competition. But I want people to know I'm the one that's good at drawing. It doesn't matter, Junior. The most important thing is that we don't get caught. Okay, fine. I'm gonna win. I won't say anything. Hello and welcome to the International Drawing Competition, where drawers from around the world compete to see who's the best. Today we have two brilliant contestants. In this corner, Jacques-Pierre Francois. No, ho, ho. no stupid American can beat me in drawing. He may be in his 40s, but he never graduated the fifth grade. And in this corner, we have Cody Nutkiss. Okay, boy, you better win this competition. The whole school is counting on you to win, plus my dad and mom. So you got this, go. Okay, on the count of three, both of you will draw the best dog you can. Whoever draws the best dog wins. A dog? Well, good thing Cody's not really drawing. He only learned how to draw a cat. One, two, three, draw. <laughs> Using a Sharpie, what if you mess up? I never mess up. <laughs> All right, time's up. Stop drawing. It is now time for me to come around and choose a winner. All right, jockstrap. How does your drawing look? It is not my best work, but it is pretty decent. How about yours? My drawing is the best drawing of a dog this world's ever going to see. And I'm going to win this competition. All right, boys, let's see what you did. Check out my drawing. Oh, that's not bad. I like the bark bark. Really lets you know what you're looking at. Yeah, I didn't want you to get confused because I'm really good at drawing cats. So I wanted to make it look like a dog. So I said bark bark so you knew it was a dog. Okay, Jacques, let's see what you did. Jesus Christ, that's the best picture of a dog I've ever seen. Well, the winner for the 20th year in a row, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, is Jacques Pierre Francois. <laughs> I can beat these kids any day, like taking candy from a baby. Oh, that frog-eating Frenchman! He beats us every year! I'm sorry, Principal. I tried to win. I know. You tried real hard, Cody. You're only suspended for two weeks this time. I mean, that is a really good drawing of a dog. I know. Phenomenal. Yeah, we should probably stop letting him compete. This happens every year. It's getting pretty old. You know, people stopped competing because they just don't think they can beat him. I'm sorry, Cody. I tried to win. It's okay, Junior. It was impossible to beat him. But hey, I have no school for the next two weeks since I'm suspended. I'm suspended too! Oh, hey, we can hang out for two weeks. <sighs> what? Dude! Oh, hey, Joseph, you're alive! I have a headache! What happened? A door hit you in the head. Oh. Yeah, but something bad happened to me and Cody. Oh, what's wrong, bud? There he goes. Officer Guy, get in here. Yes, sir? I have a super secret undercover mission for you. Ooh, I love super secret undercover missions. What is it? Well, there's a Russian gangster in town by the name of Vladimir Putinov. That sounds a lot like Vladimir Putin. But it's not. He's a totally different guy. And he is very dangerous. He's on the FBI's most wanted list for killing 100 men. Well, were they at least bad guys? No, they just beat him in pool. I'm sorry, did you just say pool like billiards? Yeah, it's his favorite game and he hates losing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go undercover and play him in pool, and while you're playing, you're gonna use this pool stick that is secretly a shotgun with one shot in it, and you're gonna shoot him. Uh, okay, sir, I have a number of questions. Uh, first of all, what happens when I shoot him and all of his goons, like, tackle me and try to torture me and stuff? Well, that's not gonna happen, because they're not gonna know you're the one who shot him. You're holding a pool stick, not a gun. 
Well, I think it's going to be pretty obvious. I mean, there's going to be smoke coming out of it, and I'm going to have to be pointing my pool stick right at him. And also, I'm the only new guy there. Guy, you're just overthinking it. Don't worry about it. Also, if we have his location, why don't we just go there and arrest him? Why do I even have to do all this? God damn it, guy. It's going to be cool, okay? We made this pool stick gun, and we're going to use it. Okay, but how do I even know what he looks like? Look, you're going to have an earpiece in your ear, and I can talk you through the whole thing. Okay, send me the address. <laughs> if I get the eight ball, then I win! No, you have to call your pocket! That one. No, you can't shoot there! You have to shoot somewhere else! Yes, I can! I picked that one! Zakaya, do something! No, no, that is cheating! Tell him to move head! Gah! Zakaya, down, boy! Duh. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I win! Oh, yeah? Piece of shit! Holy shit, Vladimir! You haven't lost all day! Thank you! Now who wants to play next? Hey there, you pussies wanna play some pool? The shit you call me? Whoa, what's wrong? You afraid of a little competition? I am afraid of nothing. Yeah, apparently. You know what? I think I need to meditate for a second. Okay, take your time. Sir, I am so nervous right now. Guy, the sooner you shoot him, the sooner you can get out of there. Okay, well just tell me which one he is so I can kill him and get the hell out of here. Well, you see the guy in the red jacket? Red jacket, got it. Holy shit! Shot them right in the motherfuck! Guy, did I just hear a gunshot? No, nope, no, nope, that was just me playing pool. Holy shit, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen! You shot him with pool stick! Wait a minute, why do you have pool stick gun? Uh, well, well that guy in red was, was an undercover cop, so I was just trying to help you out. Zakaya, check him! Duh. He tells truth! Badge in pocket! Holy shit! You walk in with pool stick gun and you could have killed me! But instead, you saved my life! You know I am number one wanted US, right? Really? You don't say? Yeah, FBI want me so bad, I kill over 100 people! 101 today! Oh, congratulations! Da, look by your feet! Dead body. Oh, hey there. He can't hear you. He's dead. Vladimir take pool very seriously. Duh. Yeah, apparently. Guy, Officer Keebler is responding. Is he still there? Oh, the guy in red. Yeah, I see him. Hey, Keebler. Who the shit are you talking to? Uh, I, I, I think I see my friend Keebler from high school. He makes cookies now. No, this is Russian goon house. No Keebler here. Oh, well, I guess I was mistaken. You know what? I think I'm just going to go home. No, no, no. You will stay and play a game of pool. I insist! And since you saved my life, if you win, I won't kill you. Maybe. Oh, well in that case, I guess I'll break. Duh. Now watch, this is how a man breaks. Ugh, thank God I had a bulletproof vest on. Ugh, holy shit! Sir, how many bullets did you say were in this thing? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. We put an extra bullet in there in case you missed the first one. Thought you might need it. Holy shit! You knew he had bulletproof vest! And you shot him a second time! That second time today that you could have killed me, but instead, you saved my life! Yeah, yeah, keep reminding me! You know what? I like you! I want to take you out to American fancy cuisine! Denny's, you heard of it? Oh, yeah, Denny's. They open 24 hour! Their Grand Slam, which? Delicious! Oh, okay, yeah, let's go to Denny's. Let's go! Welcome to Denny's, greatest American restaurant! Oh, I don't know if I'd say that. I mean, there's Applebee's and Red Lobster. The shit you just said! Uh, you know what? I do love Moons Over Miami, though. I do love that. Duh. You know what? I really liking the way the Slam Burger looking, but I am definitely going to need a moment to look over the menu. Guy, I distract your location. What the hell are you doing at a Denny's and you didn't invite me? Uh, sir, the pool situation didn't work out, so he wanted to go to Denny's and here we are. But don't worry, I'm gonna try to poison his drink while we're here. Good idea. I have made my decision. I am getting green sandwich. You know, I think I might actually get a Choco Nana Pancake Slam. You are getting green sandwich. I'm getting a grand sandwich. Now where the shit is the waitress? Sorry for the wait, y'all. I'm your waitress, Lakeisha, and welcome to Denny's. Oh, sorry, sir. No shirt, no service. I think you will serve me even without my shirt. Oh my god, okay, okay, you right, you right. Uh, so what would y'all like to drink? Well, I think I will get a mellow yellow. I will also have a mellow yellow. Mellow yellow. Three mellow yellows? Okay, uh, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, that's the y'all mellow yellow. What y'all want to eat? We will have three grand sandwich. Three grand sandwich? Oh, that's easy. Y'all easy. Oh, I love mellow yellow. Yeah, hey, how about before we drink, we play this fun game called Let's See Who Can Tie Their Shoes the Fastest. Oh, you're on. I have no shoe. Oh, well, okay, I guess in that case, untie one of his shoes and see how fast you can tie that one. Okay. Jesus, okay. Put this in here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, done! I tie my shoe in five seconds, 
Zakaya Tai My Shoe in six, so who won? Uh, you won! Congratulations! I think we should celebrate by sipping our mellow yellows as fast as we can. Duh, let's do it! Wait, 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 Zakaya! You have much more ice than me! I have none! Trade with me. Ugh, boy. No, 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 you don't have to switch drinks. I really like ice because I am anemic. <laughs> oh, I love mellow yellow. Zakaya, how is your mellow yellow? Holy shit! Uh, how, how did that happen? That's crazy. I guess his yellow wasn't so mellow. Waitress, get this shit in here! You don't need a yeah, your grand sandwich is almost ready. Waitress, why my brother die after sipping mellow yellow you bring? Oh, he did? Yes! Let me check something. <laughs> why you put cyanide in my brother's drink? It, it was actually arsenic. I don't get no cyanide! Die! Come on, we're leaving! Uh, but what about the Grand Sandwiches? I will go to kitchen, kill this chef, and take the Grand Sandwiches! Let's go! <sighs> so why are we at a strip club? It is the only way for me to get over the death of my brother with titties. I feel gross eating a Grand Sandwich here. Hey baby, what's your name? Dandelion. Oh, Dandelion. Like my favorite flower. Is that a gun in my pants? Or am I happy to see you? Sorry, the fact that you think my birthdays are that fun. No, this whole thing has been a shit show. Don't worry, I'll get it done. Give me lap dance, baby. Okay. Ow, your gun is hurting me. You know what, friend? Grab my gun. R really? Yeah, I trust you. You saved my life like twice today. Oh, okay, great. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Wait, oh, oh, shit. Bro, what this shit? You just shot Dandelion. You know, man, I, I could just tell she was going to break your heart. Bro. This is why I love you. Yeah. Bro, what the shit you are doing? I'm sorry, man. I'm a cop. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you got me so good. You must be like the best undercover cop ever. You even shot your partner. Yeah, that was an accident. And my brother. That was also an accident. And the stripper? Yeah, again, an accident. You know what? Go ahead. Do it. I want to be with my brother. Oh, thanks for being so cool about this. Duh. Sorry. Oh, you must be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Are you serious? I forgot! I shot so many times today and forgot to reload! <laughs> okay, you know what? Fuck this. <gasps> I'm just taking him in. Okay, sir, I have the Russian guy, but he's not dead. He's not dead? Why didn't you kill him? Well, I tried, sir, but six innocent people ended up dying. Six people? Who? Okay, well, let's see. There was a stripper, there was a Denny chef, a Denny's waitress, uh, his brother, some random Russian pool player guy, and Officer Keebler. Officer Keebler's dead? How? Well, let me tell you the very long story of why it's not my fault. So I pulled up to the Russian mobster house, and they wanted to play pool. And they saw how good I was at pool, because I'm great at it. And then they wanted me and Officer Keebler to be in their district for the Hunger Games. So then they took us to Denny's to get us a lot of food so we'd be full before the Hunger Games. And then they took us to a strip club so we'd get some hose and get our strength up before the big fight. So then they put us in these little tube things, and they raised us up into this big field with all the other district people. And then they said, go. So usually, you're supposed to run and grab a bunch of weapons, but I already had my pool stick gun. So me and Officer Keebler just ran into the forest and climbed up a tree and just waited. Then we saw this girl named Cat Piss or something, and she was killing people with her bow and arrow. And oh yeah, she had this boyfriend named Peta. Uh, not Peter, Peta, like how Lois Griffin says Peter. It was weird. A and then Keebler sneezed, so Cat Piss was going to try to shoot us with her bow and arrow. So I shot this bee's nest full of deadly bees with my pool gun, and it fell and hit Peta on the head. So then I shot Cat Piss with my other last bullet from the gun, and she died. So then we just camped until there was one guy left, and Keebler said, yo, bro, it's 2v1, let's get him. He's definitely a bot, but I didn't have any weapons or mats. All I had was a chug jug. So Officer Keebler runs up on him with confidence and gets his shield taken off, and the guy starts building Empire State Buildings, and Keebler yelled, bro, he's real, he's real. And then Officer Keebler got sniped. So I was running around, and the guy jumped down and tried to shoot me, but he died from fall damage. So I won the Hunger Games. You won the Hunger Games. That's not what happened. He accidentally shot Officer Keebler with pull stick gun. Brooklyn guy! You know me, I'm a little weasel. Da -na 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 -na. Holy Cross, today is 
February 29th, 2024, and it is a leap year. Usually, February has 28 days, but every four years, February gains an extra day because every frog on Earth leaps at the exact same time, making Earth a little bit lighter. And then it pushes Earth further away from the sun. And then when all the frogs on Earth land back on the ground, then it pushes Earth back into a normal orbit. And that is a leap year. I was wondering why I didn't see any frogs today. Yeah, dude, I usually eat frogs for breakfast, but I couldn't find any by the river. Ugh. Guys, that's not what a leap year is. Oh, yeah? Then what's a leap year, nerd? Well, the Earth takes 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds to orbit the sun. But we round that down to 365 days for a normal year. But then, every four years, we make up for those extra six hours by adding an extra day to the end of February. Why do you, like, look weird today? Like, did you get a haircut? Yeah, something's different about you, dude. And another crazy thing is that if your birthday is on February 29th, you only age every four years. Imagine having a birthday today. I know, dude. So depressing. I'd rather have a birthday on September 11th. <laughs> or Columbine. Yeah, days that actually matter. Dude, if my birthday was today, I would jump off the tallest bridge. Yeah, like the tallest bridge. Like, nah, my life doesn't matter. Nah. <laughs> Face plan. Yeah, so funny. <laughs> right, Cody? Cody, why are you wearing a dunce cap? It's not a dunce cap, it's a birthday hat. Dude, it's not your birthday today. Yeah, your birthday's not today. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, Joseph, today is his birthday. Oh, happy birthday, dude. Yeah, happy birthday, you butt humper. Thanks, guys. I mean, we don't understand why you do it, but we're still your friend. That's great, you can stop. So how many times do I get to hit you, though? Well, I'm turning 16. Wait, how many birthdays have you actually had? Four. So you're four years old? No, we've had this conversation. I'm still 16. How many February 29ths have existed since you've been born? Four. So you're four years old? No, that doesn't mean time didn't still pass for 16 years. Okay, hold on. So when February 29th doesn't exist, what day do you celebrate your birthday on? March 1st. But were you born on March 1st? No. So you can't celebrate your birthday on a day you weren't actually born on, Cody. Yeah, you don't get to pick and choose, dude. Yeah, I, I want my birthday on Christmas. Nah, mine's is on 4th of July. Yeah, I want my birthday every single day. That's what I want. Guys, we've been through this before. I'm still 16. Teacher, Cody's birthday's today. How old is he? Wait, Cody, your birthday's on February 29th? That means you're only four years old. You can't be four years old in my class. You have to go back to kindergarten. Get out of my class right now. What? I'm the smartest kid in this class. I don't belong in kindergarten. Go to the kindergarten classroom right now. Oh, screw all of you guys. Here, you can have my stupid birthday hat. Look at the four-year-old throwing a temper tantrum. Aw, I thought he was out of his terrible tools. You need your apple juice and your animal crackles. I hope you all die. Ugh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick's kindergarten class. I'm not supposed to be in kindergarten. I'm the smartest kid in the school. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She said one, two, three, all eyes on me. I think that means you gotta shut the fuck up. I don't wanna hear the rip the hammer. It's my hammer. Class, class, if you're not quiet right now, no animal crackers or juice. Mikey, I'm calling your mother. <laughs> my mom's dead. <laughs> that is it. I'm putting my foot down. No animal crackers or juice. No animal crackers or juice. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, you sit there and think about what you've done. I think my dad killed my mom! Okay, now class, we have a new student. Come here, young man. I'm Miss Fitzpatrick, and what's your name? Cody. Class, use your manners. Everyone say hi to Cody. Hi, Cody! Ow, Mikey, you little bitch! Now, Cody, that's no-no language. We don't use that. That was a no-no word. Okay, but Mikey's still a piece of shit. I know that, but we don't say it, right, Mikey? Yeah! Mikey, you little shit! I'm 
glad we're on the same page about Mikey. Cody, now why don't you go introduce yourselves to your other classmates and try to make new friends. Find somewhere to sit. Okay. Hey, what are you chodes up to? I'm coloring it out the puss. That's cool. I spell penis bull. <laughs> nice, two of my favorite things. Oh, the dizzy character's purple. Wow, you have a very vivid imagination, young man. Why is he only pushing bear? Bear's his favorite animal. The teacher said he's on the spectrum. Okay, well let's try a different animal. Bear. 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 Yay. You guys have fun sitting here. I'm gonna go look for a different seat. Bear. Bear. Boom. <laughs> wow, this is cool. You guys get to just sit here and play with toys all day? Can I try? Yeah. Ow, 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 okay, okay, never mind. I'm not sitting here. Yeah. Oh, cool, blocks. I wouldn't touch those blocks, didn't it? Mikey's blocks. Yeah, well, guess what? Mikey's bitch ass is in timeout, so these are Cody's blocks now. Wow, can I play too? Sure, why the hell not? Oh, you're really cool, Cody. You know what? I hate you the least. What's your name? Freddy. Nice to meet you, Freddy. You think I can stick this block in my butthole? Not if I beat you to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, class, since you've been so good, I'm going to pass out the animal crackers and juice. Yeah! What about Mikey? Does Mikey get animal crackles and juice? Fuck off, Mikey! <laughs> Mikey, listen, if you can be quiet for three whole minutes, you can get out of timeout and get animal crackers and juice. Okay, Mikey will not make a sound. Okay. <coughs> okay, class, I'm gonna pass out the snacks. Wow, you guys get animal crackers and juice? It's animal crackers and juice day. Here you go, Cody, there's your animal crackers and juice. Dope. And here you go, Freddy, there's yours. Thank you. You're welcome, thank you for saying thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you for saying you're welcome. You're welcome again. You have such good manners. Damn, Freddy, I think she has a crush on you. You could probably tap that if you wanted to. You're in there like swimwear. I wear pull-ups when I go swimming so I can take a dookie in the pool. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, class, are you enjoying your animal crackers and juice? Yeah! Oh, uh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, I got a question. What is it, Taylor? Why does Daryl get a Coca-Cola? Because Daryl is special. Is it because it's the last day of Black History Month? No. Daryl, Daryl, I have a question for you. What kind of animal drinks Coca-Cola in the commercials? There, there, there. Very good. A bear. Specifically, a polar bear. <laughs> Alright class, I hope you're enjoying your crackers and juice. Um, uh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick? Mrs. Fitzpatrick? Mrs. Fitzpatrick! What? Um, I've been really quiet, so I was wondering if I could go out time out and eat some crackers and juice. Yes, you can go back to your seat. Yay! Uh, but, 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 if you act up again, Mikey, you're back in time out. Okay! <laughs> Yeah, Freddy, I think the elephants taste better than the hippos. But not as good as the giraffe ones. Hey, what are you doing near my blocks? This is my seat, I sit here. Yeah, well, don't touch my blocks. I don't see your name on them. Well, they're my blocks. What are you even doing here, Mikey? They let you out of time out already? Yeah, I did three minutes a hard time. Hey, where's my straw? My apple juice doesn't have a straw. Freddy, give me a straw. No, I'm using it. I said, give me a straw. No. Hey, Mikey, how about you back the fuck off, Freddy? How about you make me four eyes? You also have glasses, dumbass. Oh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, Cody said dumbass. So did you, dumbass. Yeah, I'm dumbass. Settle down, class. It's nap time. So everyone get out your pillows and blankets and lay down your heads and shut the fuck up. Wait, you guys get nap time? Yeah, what kind of school did you go to before? We do nap time every day. Yeah, I think the teacher uploads on our OnlyFans while we're napping. Well, good for her, I guess. Wow, this is the life. I get to eat animal crackers, a drink juice, and I get nap time? We didn't even learn anything today. <laughs> I can get used to this. <sighs> Good, they're all asleep. Now I can check my OnlyFans, see how it's doing, so I can get out of this shitty job. Sweet Jesus, Freddy, those animal crackers aren't settling right, are they? <laughs> hey, why do one of my blocks smell like poop? Oh yeah, we shoved those up me and Freddy's ass. <laughs> Maybe Freddy should have stayed court. <laughs> Freddy did too. God damn it, Mikey, you're not supposed to be playing with your blocks, it is nap time!
time. Don't be mad at me because you only have two subscribers on your OnlyFans and my dad's one of them. That is it. Time out, mister. Time out again? <laughs> Enjoy being in time out, Mikey, you fuckhead. <laughs> God, school sucked today. We have so much homework. Yeah, dude, I'm over it. Hey, guys. Cody, how'd you get here before us? I'm in kindergarten. We get out at noon. You get out at noon? Oh, lucky. Yeah, I'm four years old, so I guess I don't have to be in school as long. Wait a minute. You're four years old, so that, that means you're in kindergarten. <laughs> loser. How was it? It was awesome. I got to eat animal crackers and drink apple juice, and I got nap time. Nap time? Yeah, it's perfect. The only thing that sucks is Mikey. Who's Mikey? He's this annoying little shit that bit my hand. I wish they had to cut his head off to see if he had rabies. So you're actually going to stay in kindergarten? Yeah, I think I'm going to stick around for a while. I was going to tell my parents and have them call the school so I can go back to normal classes, but I think it's pretty fun. I'm going to hang out there. Well, well, we have a bunch of homework. Do you have homework? <laughs> yeah, Miss Fitzpatrick said I have to find three things that are blue. My bow tie's blue, my shirt's blue, and my pants are blue. <laughs> well, I guess I'm done with my homework. I'm free for the afternoon, guys. Maybe I'll go practice my napping. What? I want to go to kindergarten. Dude, I hate him. Joseph, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, let's go wash our hands with a bunch of soap. <gasps> I bet I can wash my hands better than you can wash your hands. What? No, you can't, silly Billy. Yes, I can, you silly goose. <laughs> silly Billy, silly <laughs> Billy, silly <laughs> Billy. Hey, guys, guess what I just bought for $2,000. $2,000? Where would you get that kind of money? Oh, I've been saving up my money for whenever I do chores for the last 10 years. Every penny. Well, what would you spend $2,000 on? I want you to guess. A car. What? No, I can't drive. A boat? Well, I definitely can't drive a boat. A spaceship. <sighs> Junior, you guess. But oh. was it a spaceship, dude? No. Uh -huh. Um. Did you pay someone to cut off their finger? What? Yeah, did you pay $2,000 for someone's finger? Why would I pay $2,000 for a finger? Maybe it had a diamond ring on it. Ooh, nice guess, dude. Nice guess. I like that. Why wouldn't I just buy the ring? Maybe it didn't fit your finger, so you wanted their finger because it fit the finger. Yeah, two for one special, dude. What? what? No, it's not a finger. Well, then what is it? It's this. <clears throat> Check it out. Oh, you got the new iPhone. What? No, not the phone. It's what's on the phone. The phone case? What? No, the picture. Wait, what is that? It's a noodle. Dude, it looks like a stick. Well, it's not a stick. It's an NFT. What's an NFT? Well, it's a non-fungible token. Oh, it's a token, so you can use that at Chuck E. Cheese. Ooh, now that's fun. Well, no, it's not that kind of token. It's a non-fungible token. You can't fung it. So what is it? Well, it's a picture. You paid $2,000 to have a picture on your phone? But no, I paid $2,000 for an NFT. So what's it do? Well, you're doing it. What? We, we can only look at it? Well, yeah. I mean, no, no. Actually, you could hang it up on the walls of your digital house. A digital house? Yeah, you know, in the metaverse. Like, I mean, I guess technically I'd have to buy some land in the metaverse and then hire a digital construction worker to build me a house. But, but then I could hang it up on the walls. Why don't you just go on your computer, print it out, and hang it up in your real house? Yeah. Well, because that wouldn't be the same thing. That This is an NFT. So you only have it on your phone? Well, yeah. Well, what if your phone dies? Well, then I just charge my phone. Well, what if a meteor hits the earth and there's no electricity anymore? Well, that's not going to happen. Well, what if it does? Well, then I'd have bigger problems than just my noodle. You'll wish you had that $2,000 back. Well, no, no, I'm happy with this. So what are you going to do with it in the future? Like, how long are you going to have it for? Oh, well, I could probably sell it for a lot of money, maybe. Who else would buy this? Well, I don't know, somebody who wants a noodle? No one's going to pay $2,000 for this, Cody. But yes, they will. Look, look, look. The, the, the cool thing is that I could put this in my digital world, okay? Hold on. What, what are you doing? All right, Cody. I just made it in my virtual world in Minecraft. Yeah, but that's that's not the metaverse. It doesn't matter. More people play Minecraft. Well, but, but people can't come visit it. Yeah, I can open up the server and everyone can come look at my NFT that I own now. Well, but that's... You don't own that. See, I have the original. Well, what if I just took a picture of your phone with my phone? Then it would be on my phone and I would own it. No, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, hold on. Give me a second. Well, but you can't. What do you... Look, I just did. I just took a picture. Look, I own it now. It's on my phone. Well, you don't You don't own it, though. Yeah, I do. It's on my phone. Hey, hey, Joseph, I just sent you a text. Ooh, what you send me, dude? Oh, dude, I own it now! Yeah, we all own it. Oh. No, no, you guys don't own it. You just have it. It's, it's, not, it's on our it's phone. On our phone yeah, we, we own it. It's on your phone. It's on our phones. We all own it. But it's not worth anything, though. H how would anyone know that you own it? They all they would think we all own it. Yeah. Well, look, right there. It says, owned by Cody. Look, I could have been Cody. Yeah, I could make a username named Cody. My yeah. name's Cody. But 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 you can't sell it. That's the main thing. I can sell. I can print this out, and I can sell more copies than that one sells. No, nobody would buy that. But why? What, because this is the real one, and they didn't. I, I paid two thousand dollars for this. So. Hold on. Wait. All right, Cody. I just printed this out and framed it. Whoa, dude, this looks sick. I would totally buy this for two thousand dollars. No, that's that's dumb. No one would buy that. But it's the physical version. You can touch it and feel it, and even if your phone dies, you can still see it, and you can hang it up in your real house in real life. But but I, I have the original, so it's. 
I paid $2,000 for this. You know how much I paid for this? I paid $5 for the frame and a dollar to print out at UPS. So it costs $6 to get a physical version. That'll never disappear. Like, no matter what, like, even if electricity stopped existing, I would always have this picture. What a steal. But, 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 but you can't put it in the metaverse. You know, you people around the world can see mine. Like, somebody in Japan could see this. They couldn't see yours. I can FaceTime somebody in Japan and show it to him over the phone. Or I can make a video on YouTube about it and show it to him. But, but Justin Bieber couldn't see it. What? Well, well, Justin Bieber did a concert in the metaverse, so he could have come to my virtual house in the metaverse if I had one and he could see my noodle. Why would Justin Bieber come to your house? You're not cool, dude! Yeah, why don't we just buy tickets to a Justin Bieber concert, sit row one, hold it up in front of him, he has a better chance of seeing it from the stage than in your stupid virtual world. He's not gonna stop by your virtual house. But, but mine, I, I, could, I could sell this for a lot of money someday. You know, th this is an investment. I can sell this for a lot of money. I bet you I can, I'm gonna call an art dealer and I'll have him come over and see how much he'll give me for this. What, no, you, you can't do that. So where's the painting that's for sale? It's right here. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. That is the most elegant painting I've ever seen in my entire life. In all my years of collecting art, I've never seen something so modern, yet so minimalistic. I'll take it. I'll take it for $10,000. What? Actually, no. It would be my pleasure to pay more. I'll pay $20,000. But, 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 but look right here. I have the original. Oh, great. You took a picture of my painting. You may have a photo of my painting, but I have the original right here. What? No, no, that's not the original. This is the original. They just printed it out. Come here. Uh, okay. Come here. Okay. I don't give a fuck. Okay, this right here is the original. You just took a picture. Great, have but, fun with your picture. But no, 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 I, I paid for this one. Hey, do you want to buy the one that I made on Minecraft? Could you get out of the way? Look, I, I made it on Minecraft. <gasps> yes, I'll take it. I'll take it for $10,000. Oh, you can have it then. What, Great. No, no, but, but I have the original one right here. But this one right here is 3D. I can walk around it and shit. Mine. Thank you so much. Pleasure doing business. Uh, pleasure, right, pleasure doing business with you. But don't you want this one? Sissy Cody, look, I just made $30,000 off your stupid little doodle photo. But, but this is stupid. He can't use any of that stuff in the metaverse. Like, Justin Bieber can't see it. Oh, dude, I'm about to go print some more copies. Yeah, I'm gonna print more, too. What? No, don't. Ooh, dude, we're about to make so much cash. Heck yeah, we are. Guys, I'm gonna call the cops if you don't stop. Wait, why? Well, because you're stealing my NFT and you're selling it. We're not stealing your NFT. You said the one on your phone is the only original one. We're just printing them out and selling them. But, 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 but it's still, like, mine and you're making money off of it. Well, you said these are worthless. Well, they are. Well, then why would we make $30,000 selling them? Well, th that'll never happen again. <gasps> oh, dude, I think we got a customer. How much are these? Uh, I'll sell two of them for $20,000. All right, sure. Oh, 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 dude, we just made a sale. Okay, that's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, Cody. Come on. <sighs> All right, dude, I just printed out two more copies. We got to stay stocked up. Good thinking, Joseph. Also, we don't offer refunds. We don't want people asking for their money back when they realize they're not worth anything. Oh, yeah, you're right. Smart, smart. There they are, officer. Oh, so these are the kids who stole something from you that was worth $2,000, huh? Yeah, they sure did. All right, you kids should know that this is a very serious crime. Stealing something worth that much is a felony. But, officer, we didn't steal anything. We just printed out photos that we found on our phone. Yeah. Oh. Well, yes, they did steal something from me. They stole my noodle. What? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Your noodle? Yeah, this picture right here in my phone. But it's also on my phone. Yeah, my phone too. What? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Whose picture is this? It's mine because I paid $2,000 for it. Whoa, hold on. What? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, you paid $2,000 for that little picture on your phone? What? Yeah. Well, kid, that's the real crime here. You got scammed. It's not a scam. I wanted this. What? Why? Because he's a stupid dumb idiot and he thinks it's worth something? No, it's because I want to show it to Justin Bieber in my virtual house in the metaverse. Um, kids, is is he okay? Like, is he on something? He's been talking crazy all day. Yeah, he's sick in the head. Well, I'm not crazy. This is the future. Uh, okay, kids, so are you, like, seeing aliens and stuff, too? Well, yeah, I guess, I guess there could be aliens in the metaverse. Anything's possible. Okay, I'm gonna check him into a mental facility because something's wrong with him. There is. Yeah, what? I understand. No, no, no it, it, it's NFTs. It's it's the metaverse. It, it, but, 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 but my noodle. Okay, we're gonna get you a lot of noodles in the facility, okay? But, no, 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 no. But my noodle, though. No, it's okay. We're gonna get you the help you need. I'm so glad he's getting help. Right? All right, kids. You should probably know before you go in there, he's in a straight jacket in a padded room for your protection and his. So just let us know if he gets too crazy. What's up, buddy? Don't what's up, buddy me. You guys stole my noodle. Nurse, he's yelling. No, Junior. All right, what's going on in here? He was yelling at us. Yeah, he tried to bite me. Are we going to have to put the mask on you so you don't bite anybody? No, I'll be nice. All right, Cody, use your words. <sighs> you guys stole my noodle. You keep talking about noodles, Cody. That's why you're in here. Yeah. But... Guys, the metaverse is the future. If you keep talking like that, they'll never let you out. All right, we got a mental health professional here to do some therapy for you. All right, kids, move out of the way for Nurse Jackie that put him in a straight Jackie. Hello there. I don't want to talk to her. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to you. Get the rabbit. Okay. Here, talk to Mr. Bunny. Oh, Mr. Bunny. 
I don't want to talk to Mr. Bunny. Aw, come on, tell Mr. Bunny how you feel. Okay, Mr. Bunny, my asshole friend stole my noodle. Ugh, this poor kid won't stop talking about noodles. Somebody get him a noodle, please. Jackie, the goddamn noodle, please. Uh, okay, all right, all right. Here's your noodle. What, what, what is this? This isn't my noodle. Get that away from me. Oh, no. He can't even recognize noodles anymore. He's completely lost touch with reality. I want to call the family to see if we have to put him down. Damn shame. Mm -hmm. well, guys, guys, you have to get me out of here. Well, no, Cody. Like, if we let you out of here, you're going to start talking about noodles again. No, yeah. Guys, guys, please. Oh, look, if you get me out of here, I'll admit the noodle was stupid. <gasps> you will? Yes. Will you try to sell it? But, yeah, sure. He still thinks it's worth something. He hasn't changed. But, no, 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 no. Guys, please get me out of here. I'll, I'll delete it or something. I'll figure it out. <sighs> Okay, Cody, we'll believe you. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. All right, before we put your son down, are you sure this is what you want to do? Yes, I'm sure this is what I want to do. No son of mine is going to talk about noodles and shit. Oh, this is not a life he should live. No son of ours is going to talk about noodles. Yeah, we can just make another one. Ain't that right, baby? <laughs> Time to get a new mattress. Mm, mm, mm. All right, I'll let you say your goodbyes. What? What? Oh, no, he's escaped. What? This is bad. He's a danger to society. We're going to have to catch him. Thanks for getting me out of the mental institution. You're not going to talk about noodles anymore, are you? No, I'm not going to talk about noodles. We also sold all the pictures we printed out. Oh, good. I'm very proud of you for stealing my stuff. Also, we made this. Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's a 4D sculpture your noodle. What, 4D? What, does it have a smell? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it smells like noodles. Exactly, right? Isn't it cooler than the dumb one you bought on your phone that doesn't do anything? That stupid phone noodle. Uh, I have to admit, guys, this is pretty cool. Would you pay more than $2,000 for this? Yeah, I think I would. <gasps> He's learning. I know. This one's better because you get to see it. It pokes out at you. It's really cool. And it has that smell, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there is one downside. What? Well, what is it? I mean, you can't. What was it? Say it, say it. You can't use it in the metaverse. And you're staying in your straight jacket. Mm. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, dude, I think we have a buyer. Oh. oh, my God. That is the most divine sculpture I've ever seen. I'll buy it for $130,000. <gasps> oh, Seriously? You can have it. Great. Oh my god, dude! All this cash! We just made $130,000 off that sculpture! What? This is ridiculous, but I have this noodle! There he is! Get him! No, 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 no! No, don't take me back! No! He tried to bite me! Yeah, he's crazy. I'm gonna sell his stupid NFT because I'm tired of looking at it. Yeah, me too, dude. <gasps> it, it actually sold for $1,000 more! Oh, wow! We rich! So with the very dangerous and high-powered tools on your desk, you're going to be making a wooden sculpture. Oh man, this hammer's so cool. Whoa, isn't this kind of dangerous? <gasps> awesome! Hey Cody, tag your in! <laughs> Joseph, get away from me, you're going to poke my eye out with that thing. Dude, this is what I'm trying to do! <laughs> you know what? Oh yeah, you're right. Stop it! Uh, teacher, what are we supposed to make? Anything you want. See, I made a birdhouse. So, get started, Kraus. Okay, teacher. What? What? Joseph, put Cody down! But Cody's having fun! Put him down! Alright, dude! Oh, God, I'm gonna throw up. Cody, are you okay? <laughs> oh, dude, stop being a baby. I gave you a roller coaster ride. Yeah. Cody, what are you gonna make out of wood? I don't know. Probably a unicorn. Gay. Well, what are you gonna make? Ooh, a shark. <laughs> Straight. I know. What about you, Junior? What are you making? I think I'm gonna make a dinosaur. Dope. Why did I only get tape and scissors? Because you're a girl. You can't be trusted with high-powered machinery. Us men can handle this, not you. Whatever. I'll still make something better than you. Hey, idiot. What are you going to make? I'm not really sure you should be calling me names today. <laughs> Whatever, idiot. Don't do it, Jeffy. Don't do it. Uh, teacher, can I see the nurse? Is that an axe in your head? Yeah. <sighs> Crass, make sure you be careful with the tools. You only have 15 minutes. Uh, All right, Crass, stop working. Your 15 minutes is up. I'm now going to come around to Crass and see what you made. Hey, Cody, check out my dinosaur. Sick dino, Junior. Not cooler than my shark, though. Hey, Penelope, what'd you make? I made a house. What a lame house. You didn't even put a door. I didn't have enough time, Junior. Hey, everybody, look at Penelope's lame house. She didn't put a door. That means any guy can come and go whenever they want, like between her mom's legs. Oh, oh. Junior. Your mama ho! Your mama ho! <laughs> All right, Penelope, what did you make? I made a house. Okay, where's your door? Oh, I didn't have enough time. Okay, B minus. All right, Junior, what did you make? I made a dinosaur. <laughs> Great, where's his eyes? Uh, it, 
It's a blind dinosaur. B minus. Uh. All right, Joseph, what did you make? Oh, I made a shark. <laughs> okay, where's his body? Uh. B minus. Uh. All right, Cody, what did you make? I uh, made a unicorn head. Oh, yay, finally someone who made exactly what they said. A plus. <laughs> what? That's not fair. All right, Jeffy, what did you make? I made a machine gun. Oh, Jesus Christ, Christ, he finally doing it. Everyone under the death line we practiced. So we'll call the cops. <laughs> He's gonna do it! It's always the weird kid! I thought Cody was gonna do it! Thanks, Junior. Get out of the desk, Cody! Get out of the desk! Alright, kids, I'm here. Stay calm. It's safe now. Just everybody stay under their desks. What's going on? Hey there, crazy. Just calm down. Don't do anything stupid. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. Just hand me the weapon. It's made out of wood. Alright, I'll be the judge of that. I know a gun when I see it. Alright, everybody, I got the gun! Let's run! Run for your lives! Wait, wait, wait a minute. This actually is made out of wood. Man, kid, you're in big trouble for getting my hopes up like that. I thought I was going to be a hero today. But still, you're still in big trouble, because you could get expelled for pulling a stunt like this. You're lucky I don't arrest you. I'm sorry? What's wrong, Marvin? I have this weird feeling that Jeffy did something bad at school today. Oh, Marvin, you worry too much. Just sit back, relax, we'll watch TV. Okay. Breaking news, MK! Okay? This student made a weapon during his shop class and sparked panic across the entire school. Cops are on the scene now, dealing with the situation. More on this story as it develops. Oh my god! I told you I had a feeling Jeffy was gonna do something bad. Hey, Daddy, guess what? So I was doing my project in school, and the teacher said I was doing such a good job that I got to come home early, and now I never have to go back. Jeffy, what did you do? Your son did the worst thing imaginable. What did he do? Well, on the car ride over here, I was drinking Hawaiian Punch, and he asked me if he could have a sip, and I said, no, you have little kid germs. And he said, don't worry, you'll waterfall it. So he goes to drink it, and he spills it all over my car. It gets on the seats, it it gets in the cup holders, it gets on the floorboards, big sticky mess. I am not happy. No, no, I, I meant what happened at school. Oh, that. Yeah, that wasn't as bad. Yeah, he just made a gun out of wood and everybody thought it was real, so they got scared. What? Hawaiian punch! What? But baby, we're past that part. No, I know, but it's just so red and sticky. Yeah, I know. Believe me, I have to clean it up. I'm pretty pissed. No, 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 no. no. Look, we, the more important thing is let's talk about Jeffy at school. What's going to happen? Oh, he's getting expelled. Expelled? What? Well, yeah, but the school said they'll let him go back to school if he completes a one-day juvenile detention class school thing that I teach. Okay, when, when is the class? Oh, it's tonight. And if he fails, he's going to go to jail. Well, go to jail? So, so he has to pass it? He has to pass it to go back to school. And 99% of the people who take my class fail. Well, doesn't that mean you're just a bad teacher? No, it means they're bad people. It's not my fault. Okay, so, so Jeffy's gonna go to the class tonight and he's gonna pass. All right, Jeffy? Yep. All right, oh, I'm gonna go clean out my car. Okay. Jeffy, why did you do that? It's not my fault I spilled the Hawaiian punch. He went over his speed bump. Well, no, no, not that. Why did you do the thing at school? Well, because the teacher said that I could make whatever I wanted out of wood, so I made a wooden gun, and it doesn't shoot shit. What's oh, Jeffy, language? Okay, look, let's just all calm down. Jeffy, you're going to go to the class tonight, and you're going to pass it, okay? Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, do you guys have napkins? Like like a whole bunch of napkins? Yeah, in, in the kitchen. Oh, okay, I'm going to need a lot of napkins, though. Oh, okay, go, go to the kitchen. Oh my god, this is, why is this my life? Mm -mm -mm. This looks so yummy! Hey, can I have some of these paper towels? Yeah, yeah. sure! Thanks. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I'm getting paper towels, you said I could. Why so many? Look, man, my car is covered in Hawaiian punch. I need this many paper towels. No, you don't! Yes, I do! No, you don't! Yes, I do! No, you don't! Hey, look over there! What? Wait, hey, stop it! Hey, you can't stop me! My paper towels! God, he was so annoying! Who's that? Wait, what do you want? Hey, I'm gonna need a lot more paper towels than this. Can I have the rest? No! Uh, I don't want to be here! Hey, kid, what color's your blood? Ah, what happened to your eyes? I tattooed my eyeballs with my pencil. All I see is darkness! Uh, you wanna try? No! Suit yourself. Ugh. I started a fire. I don't regret the people I killed. Give me your eyelids. No. I said give me your eyelids. No way. <laughs> all right, all right. Settle down, you freaks. Welcome to Be Good School, where I teach you how to be good. All right, you are all menaces to society. The world would honestly be a better place if you did not exist. So I'm going to try to fix you. Now, there are three main rules on how to be good. The first rule is manners. Now, that includes things like saying please and thank you, and according to my wife, not pissing on the toilet seat. But I do it anyway. It's not my fault you have to pee sitting down, just pee standing up like a man. 
Anyway, who wants to give me an example of manners? Can I please start a fire? Well, no, you can't start a fire, but you did say please, and I like that. That's one step in the right direction, and then five steps in the wrong direction because you asked to commit arson. Okay, look, I'll give you a real-life example of manners, okay? Let's say you're at a restaurant, and you order some chicken strips and a side of ranch. And so the waiter comes, and he brings the chicken strips, but he forgets the ranch. And you say, excuse me, I think you've forgotten my ranch. And he says, oh, right, I'll be right on that. And then I don't see him for 15 minutes. And then he comes back and he says, can I get you anything? And I say, well, I really would like my ranch. And then he says, oh, right, of course, the ranch. And then he disappears for 30 goddamn minutes and then has the balls to come back and say, hey, can I get you the check? And I say, what you can get me is my fucking ranch. And he says, well, you can't talk to me that way. And I say, I can talk to you any way I want. Let me see your manager. And then he says, I am the manager. And I say, well, that's funny because your name tag says waiter, so go get me the manager. So then the manager comes over and says, is there anything wrong here? And I say, yeah, look at my dry chicken strips. I want some ranch. You're going to cop me this entire meal for free, or I'm going to put one of my ball hairs in the food and say that you did it, and I'm going to get this entire restaurant shut down. And then the manager says, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm going to comp you your entire meal. All your food is free today. And then I say, thank you. See, that's manners. I said thank you. So did anybody learn anything? Um, I learned not to forget your ranch. Yes, yes, you don't forget the ranch. That's exactly right. I mean, chicken strips without ranch, it's like a car without tires. What are you even going to do with it? Yes, exactly. You're going to make an excellent waiter someday if Applebee's ever starts hiring felons. Okay, now the second one is helping people. You gotta help people. It's just the nice thing to do, okay? Now I'll give you an example. What do you do if you're driving down the street and you see a girl whose car is broken down on the side of the road? You stuff her in the trunk? No, you don't do that. You set her car on? On fire? No, what is it with you and fire? What kind of car is it? Why does that even matter? Maybe I can steal it, I don't know. Well, you can't steal it because it's broken down and you shouldn't even want to anyway because that's wrong. Come on, think, people. Do you cut off her face and wear it? I don't think it's that one. It's definitely fire. No, 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 no. All of you are stupid. Does anyone have an actual good answer? Um pick her up and take her on a date to Applebee's? But ew! No, not Applebee's! Were you even listening to anything I was saying? No, she'd be better off just on the side of the road. She'd be just as hungry. You know, she'd just have to wait 30 minutes to get her chicken tenders and ranch anyway. No, 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 no. No, look, I'll give you a real-life example of helping people. So, my grandfather was incredibly rich. I mean, he was a millionaire, just filthy rich. And so he was in the hospital, and I was visiting him every day, you know, to make sure I got a piece of that. And then I see that he's on life support. He's being kept Kept alive by a machine. Now I'm thinking, what kind of life is that? That's no way to live, being kept alive by a machine. But he seems happy. He says, when I get this heart transplant tomorrow, I'm going to feel so much better. I can't wait to get out of the hospital. And I hear, I can't wait to get out of the hospital. So I'm thinking, I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm going to help him, and I'm going to I'm going to end his suffering and pull the plug. So I do, and he flatlines, and all the nurses come running into the room, and I just say that I tripped on the power cord, and they believe me. And then, come to find out, what did he leave me in his will? A sofa! Can you believe that? I killed my, I, I mean, I helped my grandfather go to heaven. Or hell, probably, if all he left me was a sofa. Hey, you know what, kid? Ask your dad if my grandfather's in hell. Okay. Thank you. See? There you go. He's helping me by asking if my grandfather's in hell. All right, so we've covered two already. Manners and helping people. We just have one more left to cover. Now, does anyone want to guess what that is? Starting files. Eating people's faces. Great Theft Auto. Total Annihilation. Picking your nose and eating it. No to all of that, because most of those were crimes, and the third third one is don't do crimes, okay? Now, crimes is stuff like killing people, stealing things. Yes, setting things on fire is a crime. And what I did to my grandfather was a crime. And so is what I will do to you if you tell anyone you heard that. All right, so now we're going to have a test that will make you have to use all three of the be good rules, okay? And you have to pass this test to not go to jail. But first, I'm going to have a lunch break and eat my very big foot-long imaginary sandwich. I just hope it's not too big. Um. He's choking! We have to do something! We should set him on fire while he's choking. We should eat his face and we choke too. Let's just watch. Does he have a wallet? I'm coming to help you! <laughs> oh, oh, Jeffy, you saved me! Thank you! You're welcome! C-Class, that was it. That was the test. 
Jeffy passed because he did all three of the be good rules. He helped me when I needed it, I said thank you, and he said you're welcome, so that's manners, and he didn't commit any crimes like the rest of you did by not helping me because that was the crime of criminal negligence. So Jeffy is the only one who's not going to jail. Oh, what was that? So how do you think Jeffy's be good school is going? I think it's going to be bad. You know, because it's called be good, so he's going to be bad. Be bad. Yes, like, Marvin. Be bad, like Marvin. Hey, then guess what? I passed. You passed? Sure did. Yep, he saved my imaginary life. You know, most students don't save my life whenever I choke on the imaginary sandwich, but your son did, so he passed. He learned how to be good. He learned his manners. He learned that he should help people. He learned not to do crimes, and he learned that he should get me my ranch at Applebee's. So does that make up for the Hawaiian punch? Mmm, I forgot about that before now. All right, listen, kid, you better hope I never have to see you again. Well, Jeffy, look, at least you passed, you're not going to jail, and we can put this whole thing behind us. Yeah! Hey, so I got a call from a kid with an axe in his head, and he said you did it. Ah! Uh, oh! Uh... All right, we're going back, come on. Oh, Jeffy. Jeffy, get in here! Junior, get your butt in here! Yeah, Dad? What do you want, Daddy? Well, me, Braxton, and Rose are going to a bar to play bingo and sing karaoke. Yeah, Junior, your dad's gonna be the next Beyonce. Oh, the single ladies, oh, the single ladies. Yeah, you know that song, right? So, are you two gonna be okay to stay home alone for a few hours? Sure, Daddy. I'm just gonna work on patenting my new Ash Wiper 3000. I'll never have stinky fingers again. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, that boy is a genius. I might need that later. I get nervous at karaoke, and I got IBS. Oh, uh, well, look, we're gonna leave, so if you need anything, just call us and do not burn the house down. Yeah. All right, daddy. Wait, wait, you guys are not alone. Uh, Junior, uh, Chef PB's staying here to watch over you guys because I don't trust you with the house, so Chef PB, get up here and do your job! Well, well, well. Look who's king of the castle now, Lord Peep. <laughs> Don't call yourself that, Chef Peep. -pee. What the hell? Wait, wait, there's a Chef Peep -pee here? Where is he? Where is he? Because all I see is royalty. So call me Lord Peep, Your Majesty, Your Highness, or Your Peepness. Something that pertains to royalty. And since I'm in charge now, you peasants gotta do what I say. And if you got a problem with it, your ass going to the dungeon, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have any objections? <laughs> Ass Wiper 3000. Well, no more Ass Wiper 3000 unless you're wiping my ass. Yes, Lord Penis. No, it's Lord Peepness. God, look, I, I'm going to sleep in Braxton's bed. Do not bother me or you will feel the wrath of Lord Peep. There's someone at the door, Jeffy. Let's go answer it. Okay. Hello? What up, dudes? Who are you? The name's Crush, because I fucking crush it all the time, man. What are you doing here, Crush? Well, I was driving through Florida to get down to the Everglades to live in the woods like Winnie the Pooh Bear or some shit. And on the way down, I was smoking this wicked ganj in my car, dude, and got fucked up, dude. Like, I couldn't even drive. So I was starting to look for a hotel room, but then I was like, I don't have a phone because I don't believe in technology. I believe in squirrels, dude. Have you ever seen a fucking squirrel? They're fucking awesome. They got this like built-in geographical positioning system in their head, dude. They always know where all the good nuts are. And that's me, man. I'm just trying to be a squirrel and try to get my nut, dude. So you guys know where any hotels are? No, we don't know where any hotels are. Oh, well that's crazy because I was at fucking this gas station, dude, and I got this map of Cuba and I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't know where the fuck I am, dude, but if you turn it sideways, it kind of looks like Florida or a seahorse. And, and I'm like, if I find a hotel, it's got to be cheap, dude, because all I got is 160 bucks. <gasps> 160 bucks cash? Yeah. <gasps> Jeffy, we, we can let him stay here and we can get $160. We get paid for him to sleep. Uh, so, technically, this place is a hotel. No way, dude. This looks like a house. Well, we built it to look like that because we want people to feel like they're at home. Dude, I do feel that way. I feel like I'm at home. Yeah, so if you stay here, you have to give us 160 bucks. Okay, cool, man. Here's your 160 bucks. Oh, my God. Yeah, let me show you to your room. Cool. Okay, here's your room. You can either have the bottom bunk or the top bunk. Oh, dude, I'm bottom bunk all the way, man. Because if I was up there and there was a fire, like, how would I get down, dude? Down here is so chill, man. Man, it's like my own little bird nest. Coo coo ka -choo. Well, let us know if you need anything. Go to sleep. Wait, how do you have toes? 
Whoa, man, where did your little piggies go? Do they run off to like the market? My piggies are right here, dude, just chilling. A total vibe. All right, Jeffy, let's go. Oh my God, Jeffy, look, we just made $160 by letting someone sleep in our bed for the night. Junior, did you see his toes? Why don't I have toes like that? I think when he falls asleep, I'm gonna go in there and steal his toes. No, Jeffy, if we rent out the top bunk for another $160, then you can buy yourself new toes. You're right, Junior. So I'm gonna go make a sign and put it on the front door saying that we're a hotel and that we're open. Okay. <clears throat> there, hotel open, $160. Blair! Ah, the devil! Yes, it is me, the devil. What are you doing here? Well, I needed the vacation from hell and I saw your sign that says hotel open $160 but I only have $200. Well that's enough. You can stay here. Oh you're not even going to give me my change. How evil. I love it here. Let me show you your room. So I got some good news for you sir. We upgraded you to the top bunk. Oh the top bunk. I'm in heaven. Wait I don't want to be in heaven. Oh wicked man. He's gonna clip my toenails for me. This place is the best. What are you doing Jeffy? I want his toes Junior. Oh, come on Jeffy. <laughs> cut it out Jeffy. I was trying to cut it out. All 10 of his toes. No Jeffy look we just made $360 in one night by letting two people sleep in our bunk beds. That is pretty the tits. Yeah so let me go remove the sign from the front door because I don't want anyone else thinking they can stay here. Oh no, there's someone at the door. Hello? Hi there, is this a hotel? Uh, no officer, this is not a hotel. Well that's a damn shame, because we were hoping for some bed and breakfast type shit. Yeah, I was trying to get lucky. Get lucky, he's already lucky. This motherfucker hit the goddamn jackpot. He gets to be all up in this Babs cooch. Well sorry, we don't have any rooms available for the night. Well, that's a damn shame, because where else was I going to spend my $500? $500? Yeah, good dick ain't cheap. Well, I think for $500, I can get a room ready for you guys. So come wait in the lobby. Really? Yeah, come wait. Thank you, young man. All right, you two, just sit right here. Your room will be available shortly. Is there anything I can get you? Yeah, lube, five paper towels, and a Pringles can. Okay. And leave one of the Pringles in it! Jeffy, we have a problem. What, Junior? We too fucking paid. Whee! <laughs> no, but seriously, there's these two people that want to rent a room for $500, but we don't have any rooms left. Well, what if we rented out your dad's room? What? We can't do that. Chef Pee Pee's sleeping in there. What if we move Chef Pee Pee somewhere else? <gasps> That's a good idea, Jeffy. Let's go move Chef Pee Pee. We have to be really quiet. Okay. Lord Peep. Okay, Jeffy, grab his head. Wait, stop teabagging him. Oh, you're a junior. Peep. Okay, look, I'll grab his legs. You grab his head. Okay. Okay, Jeffy, now that Chef Pee Pee's sleeping in the bathtub, we can rent out my dad's room. Yeah, Junior. I like you. Do you like me? Oh, I hate sending risky texts. I'm not even gonna look at my phone. Okay, just real quick. She hasn't answered yet. Hey, man. Oh, dude, why are you red like a pepper? Because I am the devil. All oh, right on, man. I love your lettuce. Speaking of devil's lettuce, do you have a light? Because I'm trying to hotbox this bunk bed, dude. Do I have a light? I am a light. I am the king of fire. All oh, right on, man, because I'm trying to get Zooty McScooty, dude. Sorry for the wait, but your room is now ready. Wow, this is nice as shit. It feels like I'm in Dubai or something. And what is this? Is this one of those Tempur-Pedic mattresses? Put a glass of wine on the bed and see if it falls over while we're banging. Is there anything else I can get you to? Yeah, give me some candles, a pack of cigarettes, a can of Febreze, and a yellow potty city balloon to douche. And also three more layers of sheets. All right, I'll be here in a minute. All right, and leave it by the door because we're going to go ahead and get started. Guys, do you need anything? Peekaboo Kukachu. Hey man, we're high as shit, bro. And we're on the bottom bunk. <laughs> Well, I was just making sure you guys didn't need anything. No, man, we're fabuloso, my guy. We're like Jack and the Beanstalk, but we're the guy in the clouds. Yeah, we're like a cubulo nimbus. Dude, that was the name of Harry Potter's broom. Oh, well, I'll let you guys just keep hanging out. There's someone at the door. Hold on. All right, dude. We're going to be in outer space. 
Hello? Hey, is my partner Simmons here? His squad car is parked outside and he's not answering his radio. Oh, well, a cop checked in a few minutes ago. Checked in? What do you mean? This isn't a hotel. Uh, it's like a Airbnb. Oh, okay. Well, what room's he in? Because I really need his help for an emergency. See, there's this fat person that's at a buffet and they refuse to leave. And at first, I thought it might be my ex-wife, but that's not possible because she's banned from all buffets worldwide and apparently the gym. But no, it's not her. It's this fat guy that's been there since lunchtime and now he thinks he can live there since it's all you can eat. And I'm gonna need another officer to help me drag his fat ass out of there. Oh, well, he's up there in the room to the left. Okay, thank you. Ugh, I can't believe Simmons would get a hotel room while he's on duty. He's so lazy. Okay, Simmons, take the toothbrush out of my ass and give me a bloody dragon. I thought we were doing the Panamanian petting zoo. No, fuck that! Give me the Kentucky Klondike bar! What the? Is that the room service? Come on inside and look what I'm doing to Simmons' balls. What? Mom? Yeah. Brookie, is that you? Can you get us some bottles of water? Oh, hi, mate. Can you take a picture? I didn't know your mom was this flexible. That's it, mom. Get out. Go home. I can't believe you can't accept me and Simmons' love. That, that was not love, okay? And I will never accept my partner sleeping with my mom. G get your hand off him. Simmons, come on. We gotta go to a buffet. He's full. He had a whole buffet of roast beef from the bed. Oh, God. Come on, Simmons. <sighs> uh, wait. Is that a fire? Ah! Oh my god, it's a fire! Ah! Julie, 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 we gotta get out. The house is on fire! Whoa, dude, look, it's Lord Farquaad. Far out, man. Wait, wait what? Who the hell are you? The name's Crush, like the soda. <laughs> Oh, y'all boys get lit in here, ain't you? Witty to titty, we're blazing, man. Yeah, you should join us, King Tut. Oh, you know, Lord, people prove pass it to me. I can't believe we didn't win a single game of bingo all night. Look, those old ladies were cheating. Marvin, look, there's a sign on our door. It says hotel open. $160? It must be some kids in the neighborhood pulling a prank. I'm gonna take the sign down. Marvin, do you see that smoke in the air? Oh my god, the house might be on fire. We have to get the kids. Oh no, the house ain't on fire. That's gas. <laughs> Straight gas. Marvin, I think they're in the bunk beds. Come on, kids, we gotta go. Whoa, I didn't know it was gonna be a powwow. Crush? All oh, zero gag reflex chick, what's up? <laughs> Stop. That's a hell of a nickname. What, you know him? Yeah, we met at a festival once. We shared a tent. Yeah, we did. Oh, that makes sense now. Well, get the hell out of my house. Well, I paid legal tender to be here, so get out of my hotel room. This is not a hotel room, this is my house, and I want you to leave. Oh, man, buzzkill. Yeah, everyone leave, everyone get out. Oh, look, that fire alarm's going off. Jesus. Okay, Jeffy, out of the $855 we made by renting out all the bedrooms, we both get $425 each, but I don't know how to split this last $5. Let me see it. Jeffy, why are there random people in the house? I don't know. Julia, where did you get all this money from? Oh, uh, people at school pay me to do their homework for them. <laughs> I know that's a damn lie, because you are dumb as hell. But I'm going to take all this money for rent by the time you start being treated as an adult. <laughs> wow, I only made $5. All right, Jeffy, we're going to play a game called Horse. Without the S? Yeah, so I'm going to make a shot, and then you have to make my exact same shot, or you get a letter. Okay. All right, I'm going to shoot it behind my back. Mm. Yay, I made it! Easy, Junior. My turn. Aw, uh, you missed it. Darn it! Now I'm a whore! What, no, you only get an H. Oh, okay. Okay, dog. Go in there. There you go. Good girl. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. I was walking over here and this dog started following me. What? Uh, get the pet pet. What, a dog? Uh, the pet pet. <laughs> it's cute, right? Are you gonna keep it? Uh, no, Junior. It's a stray dog. It might have rabies or something. <gasps> Do you think the dog's good at basketball? What? No, why would the dog be good at basketball? In the movie Air Bud, the dog was good at basketball. That was just a movie. Well, look, look, he looks like he likes it. Yeah, look, he's sniffing the basketball. He might be good at it. All right, if you think so. All right, let me grab my phone. We're going to record this dog making a shot. All right, Cody, I'm recording. Pass the ball to the dog. Okay, Junior. Oh, my God, he actually made it. Oh, he made it. Oh, wow. Yeah, but actually, no, I don't think he made it. I think I just bounced the ball off his head. What? No, no, the dog made it like Air Bud, and I'm going to upload it on TikTok and get a billion views. Okay. Come on, ladies, run the play. Come on, do what I told you. Good ball movement. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. 
he missed. He missed a wide open dunk. God, I can't stand it. Big Bird! What's up, coach? What the hell was that? I tried to dunk the ball in the hoop, and I missed it. Yeah, no shit. Look, you're 6'9". Start playing like it. I'm sorry, coach. Can I get some Gatorade? No, you don't deserve Gatorade. Now get your ass back out there. All right, coach. Jesus. Okay, let's run another play. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Dude, I was open. No shit, you're open. Everyone's open. It's practice. Look, guys, the game is in 30 minutes. Poby, come here. Oh, me, coach? Hey, you wanted to speak to me, coach? Yeah, look, I'll be honest with you. This team sucks. We haven't won a game all year, and if we lose another game, I'm going to be fired as a coach, okay? So I need you to go out there and show this team what teamwork is and maybe make a few shots too, okay? You got it, coach. Uh, could you get off my hand so I can play, though? Oh, yeah, hold on. Ball me. No, 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 no. Oh, Pooby, Pooby, are you okay? No, coach, I broke my ankle. Well, that doesn't look too bad. No, it snapped in half. Oh, damn it, you're our best player. I know, coach, I'm sorry. We're gonna lose that game tonight, and then you're gonna lose your coaching job. No, the hell I'm not. Okay, team, everybody huddle up. All right, team, Pooby's out for the season. I know, he was our best player, and we're 0-10 right now. We suck at the basketball? Yes, you suck at the basketball. But, but coach, it could be worse. We could be 0-11. That's true. Yeah, yeah, and we're gonna be tonight when we lose and I lose my coaching job. But that's not gonna happen, because we're gonna win. But coach, we got four players, we need five. I, okay, I, I will find us another player, but it doesn't even matter, we're still gonna lose. Uh, excuse me, coach, we're going to lose because we are uh, white skin, not uh, dark complexion, so... Here we do this. But, but, but it's you, true, Coach. We need some flavor. Well, you guys got black jerseys, though. The, this this fabric, not, not skin, no. Huh. I guess you're right. We do need some brothers on the team. Okay, I will go find us a brother. You guys stay here and practice. 9 and 11, you guys are my two tallest players. You're, you're, my, you're my twin towers, okay? I need you guys to stay here and practice dunking. Coach, we're tall like Michael Jordan? Yes, you were tall like Michael Jordan. Just just practice dunking and try not to collapse. Okay. Okay, four and seven. I need you guys to practice your three-point throws. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Uh, where am I going to find a new player by tonight? Ugh, that's not going to happen. I'm just going to sit here and watch some TikToks before I get fired. <gasps> oh, my God. This dog can play basketball like Air Bud, and it's black. <gasps> Team, I'll be right back. All right, guys, what should we name this dog? Uh, how about Albert? No, Cody, we're not naming it Albert and the Chipmunks. That's Alvin and the Chipmunks. Same name, it's still ugly. Listen, you gotta name it a fun dog name, like Barry. Barry? Yeah, like Black Barry, because the dog's black. Hmm. What about Michael Vick? No. Ooh, how about, how about Nighttime? Nighttime? Because the dog is dark, like the nighttime sky. Junior, that sucks. How about Blackie? No. Well, no, no, I meant like Blackie because he's black, not in a bad way. Well, now that you said that, I can only think of it in a bad way. Well, what about Spanky? <gasps> Ooh. Spanky Munez. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Let's name him Spanky Munez. You like your name Spanky? Hey, kids, uh, I saw on TikTok that dog that's good at basketball. Oh, that dog's right here. I recorded the video. Okay, cool. Good shot, I guess. Uh, have you kids seen the movie Air Bud, where the dog plays basketball? Yeah! Well, I think we have a similar situation here with this dog. I think it's good at basketball. Oh, yeah, it's super good at basketball. I mean, it's the next LeBron James. You saw it make that shot. Well, actually, I think I bounced the ball off the dog's head. No, 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 couldn't know what he's talking about. This dog has raw talent. I mean, you saw it make that shot. Well, yeah, that's great, because I have a basketball game coming up in, like, ten minutes, and we lost our best player, so I think I need to borrow this dog. Oh, you can borrow this dog. It'll definitely win the game, just like an Air Bud. Oh, that's great. Come on, dog. Swish! All right, team, I found our newest player. Let me introduce you to Spanky Munez. Uh, coach, that's a cat. Actually, it's a dog. And in my country, dog can actually be a wife. Where are you from? I know, I know, it might seem a little crazy, but in the movie Air Bud, the dog actually helped them win the basketball game. And this dog is black like your jerseys, so there should be no confusion about whose team it's on in case the other team has a dog on their team. Now, we don't really have any time to practice with this dog, but trust me, this dog is great. I've seen it in action. Okay, let's play this game! 
So what do you guys want to do tonight? I don't know. Hey, guys. Guys, what are you doing? We have a basketball game tonight. What, we do? The game tonight. We got to play. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have a basketball game. I totally forgot we're on a basketball team. Man, we play a lot of sports in between videos. But wait, where's Joseph? What, Junior, you don't remember? He got hit by a bus. He broke every bone in his body. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Well, we have to win tonight's game for him. Yeah. L let's go to the hospital and tell him we're going to win tonight for him. Hi, boys. Is this your little friend? Yeah, how's Joseph doing? Well, as well as someone can do once they've been hit by a bus. He can't talk because his jaw's wired shut, and he can't move because he's in a coma. But he can hear you, I think. Well, Joseph, we're going to win tonight's basketball game for you. Yeah, buddy. Getting hit by a bus is quite easy. Yeah, we're going to win for you, dog. All right, guys. Let's go win this basketball game for Joseph. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the NCAA Basketball Tournament. NCAA stands for No Cats Allowed at All. Fuck! No, I don't have enough players! Big Bird, Big Bird. He's a dog. Move! Today's matchup is the Pirates versus the Pipsqueaks. Whichever team reaches 10 points first wins. Dip off will start shortly. All right, you bunch of sissies, listen up. My coaching job's on the line tonight. Now, you see how many fans we have? None. Zero, because we suck. That's okay, coach. They would just be a distraction. I hate you. Oh, okay, but if we're gonna win, we will at least get one fan, okay? So, there's only one rule tonight. All of you need to pass the ball to Spanky. He is our Kevin Durant, okay? He's gonna win this game for us. Everybody got that? Okay, yeah. cool. All right, let's play. Uh, Cody, we're playing the team that took our dog. Well, we're gonna win at least one game this season. Wait, dogs can play on the team? Yeah, it's the Airbud rule. There's no rule that says he can't play basketball, only cats. Well, let's go play, guys. All right, it's tip-off time. Wait, wait, is that a dog? Time out. Dogs are not allowed to play basketball. Nowhere in the rules does it say a dog can't play basketball. Huh, really? Hmm, I guess that's true. It's only cats. All right, let's play ball. I got the ball! I, I got the ball! I'm wide open, I'm wide open! But, but Coach said to pass it to Spanky. Jesus, can you get the ball? It's just a dog. Well, I didn't know we could grab it! I'm, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open! Oh! Oh! Come on, guys! You let him score that fast? Give the ball to Spanky! I got you, Coach! Here you go, Spanky! I got the ball! God damn it, Big Bird, you bounced it over Spanky's head. Give it to him. My bad, coach. I got you this time. I got your ball again. Oh my God, six to zero. Time out, time out. Team, get over here. Okay, team, we are getting our asses kicked out there. We gotta come up with another plan. We give the ball to dog, like you said. Yeah, but Spanky's not the problem. He's a professional. No, I think maybe Spanky's more of a catch and shoot kind of dog. So what you guys need to do is drive the ball down the court, find Spanky open on the arch, and then pass it to Spanky, okay? You got it, coach. All right, let's, let's go. go kick some ass. Let's go. Here you go, play on. Ooh, you're not gonna make a shot. You're not gonna make a shot. Junior, go get the ball! Oh. <laughs> I saved it! Ooh, our ball again. Good hustle, Seven. Good hustle. Pass ball to Spanky, pass ball to Spanky. No, I'm going for it. Oh. Oh. Let's go! Oh my god, time out, time out. Team, get your ass in here. Coach, coach, I made it. I got two points. Yeah, you made it. You're about to make your way to the bench. Co but coach, I made two points. Yeah, you get two points, but guess who was open for three? Ooh, ooh, Spanky. Yes, that's right, Big Bird, Spanky. But coach, Spanky messed up three times in a row already. I, 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 I will not hear you talk bad about Spanky, okay? Spanky knows what he's doing. Coach, Spanky was laying down. Yeah, well, that's just Spanky's style, okay? Spanky lays on the ground until the other team forgets about him, and then boom, he strikes like a snake, okay? Everybody just give the ball to Spanky. It's not that hard, you got it? Okay. Just coach. Okay, get your ass out there. Here you go, Cody. Here you go, Vanilla Pete. Get out of my way, dog. Get out of my house! Way to go, Spanky! <laughs> he distracted us so that Big Bird could block her shot. <laughs> and people say this dog can't play basketball. Here you go, Penelope. Pass the ball, Penelope, pass the ball! No, Junior, I got this! Wow, he stole it because you're a girl and you don't know how to shoot. Shut up, Junior. 
<laughs> I'm open! I'm open! But Coach said pass to Spanky! I don't care! I'm uh, open! Uh, here you go, Spanky! I can't do this anymore! Damn it, Big Bird! You know you're supposed to set a screen so Spanky can get open! <laughs> All right, secret team meeting! Secret team meeting right now! Guys, Spanky sucks at basketball. I agree, dog only good for wife. Yeah, and coach is bonkers for thinking that a dog is gonna win us the game. But coach says pass the ball to Spanky. I know, Big Bird. So, I got an idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shots and we're gonna make it look like Spanky's making them. Bob, how we do this? Just follow my lead. No, oh, great, it's eight to two. But what the hell are they doing over there? Hey, 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 what are you guys doing over here? Chit-chatting? Well, chit-chatting is not winning, okay? The other team is only one shot away from winning, and then I lose a job, and you guys are all out on your ass, okay? So get your head in the game, and pass the ball to Spanky. All right, coach, we'll pass the ball to Spanky. Let's go, guys. Pass the ball to Spanky, pass the ball to Spanky, right here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, man, look at Spanky go. Go, Spanky, go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Whoa, you guys just see Spanky hit that layup? I told you Spanky could play basketball! All right, guys, just grab Spanky, make the shot, and Coach will think that Spanky's making it. Who wants Spanky next? Ooh, me, 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 me! All right, here you go. Let's go! Hi, doggy. All right, Patrick, passing the ball. <laughs> basketball, Junior! Okay! <laughs> Shoot it, Spanky. Yeah, we can do it. Spanky just hit a three. Go, Spanky, go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. We can actually win now. Thanks to Spanky. Yeah, whatever. Who wants Spanky? Uh, Spanky. Sp Spanky, what are you doing? Sp Spanky? Spanky, get back here. Spanky, no. Uh, guys, what are we going to do? Spanky just left. Listen, coach. Coach, we never need a Spanky in the first place. I know he just left, but it was us making the shots the whole time. Don't try to make me feel better. We can't do it without Spanky. And besides, we don't even have enough players. You're right. If you don't have five players, you're going to have to forfeit. Coach, what are we going to do? I guess we're going to have to forfeit, guys. You got me, coach. <gasps> Pooby? But your ankle's broken. I can still carry this goddamn team. Yeah! Oh, oh, you got this, coach. Cool. Here you go, Penelope. Give me this. Hey! I don't know who to pass it to. Pass it to Pooby. He's open. <sighs> yeah! That's great. Yeah, That's great. Pooby. I don't need no back yeah. up in the game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did it. We won. <laughs> game over. The Pirates win. Wow, guys, we actually just lost, all because of Penelope. No way, Junior, it's not my fault. Guys, we just lost to a dog and somebody with a broken ankle. What? It's all because of Penelope's fault she kept losing the ball. No, they're grown-ups, Junior. I knew we should have a girl on our team. Boom, let's go. Yeah. You boys played one hell of a basketball game out there, and I get to keep my job. Yeah, yeah. let's go. That's right. That's right. Let's go. That's right. But I'd really just like to thank Spanky. We couldn't have done it without him. Actually, we could have, Coach. It was all us. Well, technically, number seven, we, we were not together as Tim before Dog, but Dog bring us together, and we better as Tim, and we win. Okay, I guess that's right. And I'd especially like to thank you, Pooby. You won this on a broken ankle. You're the goddamn GOAT! Yeah! yeah. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
rock candy's illegal? <laughs> Jeffy, don't eat that. It's super illegal and it's dangerous. But no one knows that I have it. I'll just be taking this. What? The cops? Yeah, we're going around confiscating everybody's blue rock candy because this is super illegal now. And also, the street value of this is insane. You can get thousands of dollars just for this. Huh, you guys should have sold it before I got here. Well, what am I going to eat for breakfast now? <sighs> Jeffy, just eat your cat food. <laughs> Marvin, don't give Jeffy cat food again. It's okay, Mommy. I like shrimp and biscuits. See, baby, he likes it. Yeah, eat it up, Jeffy. <sighs> Who's that? Hello? Good morning, Marvin. Lovely day, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm here. Uh, I don't have my house payment this month. Oh, I know. But it's not my problem anymore because I sold your mortgage to the Mexican cartel. ASA. Wait, you sold my mortgage? I sure did. And the bad news is, is sometimes I would let you miss house payments without any consequences. But they love consequences. Do you want to know how I lost my eye and my hand? I missed my house payments, so I cut them off myself to teach myself a lesson. Wow. I'm going to let you guys talk. So where's my money, Bato? Uh, listen, I don't have the money this month. Listen, you better have my $10,000 by tomorrow morning, or else I'm going to take your ball sack, cut it off, and turn it into a balloon to give to my daughter on her quinceanera. My house payment's not $10,000. It is now, Bato, so you better get it, or else I'm going to mucho gracias your ball sack. This is a really nice house. Do you have a good day? Oh, no! Oh, my God! What's wrong, Marvin? Goodman sold my mortgage to the Mexican cartel, and they said if I don't give them $10,000 by tomorrow, they're going to mucho gracias my ball sack. What does that even mean? A lot thank you, his ball sack. Exactly. Marvin, where are we going to get that kind of money? I mean, I could sell my car. Yeah, that could work. Hey, Marvin, I got some bad news for you. Sorry, it looks like you're already having a bad day, but I'm going to make it worse. Your lung x-rays came back, and you see that black spot? That's lung cancer. <laughs> You have lung cancer. Is it bad? Oh, no, it's actually the good kind of lung cancer. It is? No, no, there's no such thing. It's all lung cancer and it's all bad. Well, what are we going to do? Well, we could treat it by tomorrow and you'd probably survive it, but the treatments are hundreds of thousands of dollars and I know you can't afford that. Well, what can you do for me? Well, I can give you this box of tissue so you can cry me a river, and I can give you this hammer so you can build a bridge and get over it. Marvin, what are we going to do? Well, I'm the one with the cancer and the payment, so I feel like I should be crying. Oh, yeah, you're right. Honestly, Daddy, what I would do is, since they can't legally deny you medical care, is that your medical bills go to collections and then you focus on making your mortgage payment. That's really smart, Jeffy. So, yeah, let, let's focus on making $10,000 by tomorrow. Anyone have any ideas to make money? Well, the police officer man said that the blue rock candy's worth thousands of dollars. But, Jeffy, that's illegal. Yeah, Jeffy, that's illegal, and you wouldn't happen to have any more of that candy sitting around, would you? No, that was my last little bit. Damn it. Marvin, you weren't thinking about selling that, were you? I mean, it's worth thousands of dollars. Yeah, Mommy, we gotta move away. Well, good thing Jeffy doesn't have any more. I mean, we could make some. Yeah, Daddy, let's cook. No, no cooking illegal rock candy under this roof. But it's thousands of dollars. No buts, Marvin. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, let's go downstairs and cook breakfast. All right, Daddy. Okay, Jeffy, pour a little bit of the serum on the pan. All right, Daddy. Yeah, that's looking real good. That's looking real good. Hey, Daddy, why are your eyes red? Oh, I'm allergic to latex. Oh, ha, 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 why'd you do that? It's allergic reaction, Jeffy. Look, let's check on the first batch. All right. Oh, that's looking good. Can we MF and cook or what? Yeah, Jeffy, it is looking really good. Oh my God, we're amazing at this. What the hell are y'all doing in my kitchen? Whipping up dope up like a pot of spaghetti. <gasps> y'all making blue rock candy? That's just illegal. Oh, we really need the money. Oh, I'm about to call the police on y'all. Oh, we have a snitch, Jeffy. Let's go get him. <gasps> 911, this candy dealer's in my kitchen. The captain. Ah, ah, <laughs> All right, Daddy, he's knocked out and tied up. What do you want me to do with him? What we usually do to snitches. I got you, Daddy. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna start putting the blue rock candy in the Ziploc bag. Marvin! Oh, oh no, Rose is coming. I gotta hide this. Marvin, what are you cooking for breakfast? <gasps> Marvin, why are you dressed like that? Uh, me and Jeffy are making blue waffles. We Googled a picture of it to get the recipe. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Hey, Danny, I got the fucker's head. <laughs> Great, Jeffy, now we have to go catch her. I'll get the knife. Hello, 911. There's people in my house cooking blue rock candy. Hang up the phone, bitch. Ah! Ah! You shut up in there. All right, Jeffy, let's get back to cooking. Okay, Jeffy, I already put blue rock candy in this bag, so I want you to take it to school and sell it and try to get as much money as you can. I'm on it, Danny. I'm going to go get dressed for school. I'm going to keep staying here and cooking. All right, Kraus, today we're going to be going over the side effects and the negatives of blue rock candy. So to help me do that, I have a police officer here. Hey, kids. Now, I know, I know, I'm a big, scary police officer, but I brought my good friend Sebastian the no-candy-eating lion here to make you guys feel better. Sebastian, get your ass in here. <laughs> hey, kids, it's me, Sebastian the no-candy lion. 
again. <laughs> just say no to candy. God damn it, Sebastian, did you take a bump to the car? Just a little bump. Just a little. Uh, sorry, sorry, kids. Sebastian has to go back to the zoo. What? No! I don't want to go back there! Come on, we're going back. Oh, guys, I can't believe blue rock candy is illegal. I know, dude. I loved it. I would literally pay any amount of money just for one piece of it. I've literally never seen anybody eat blue rock candy. I don't see what the big deal is. You guys want to buy some blue rock candy? Oh, hell yeah. Here's $100. Here's $20. Oh, what can I get for a dollar, dude? I want some. Well, since you guys are my boys, I'll give you guys half the bag for all your money put together. Here you go, yeah, 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 oh, yeah bit. <laughs> oh my god, this blue rock candy is amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's so delicious. Meh, it's okay. Hola, amigos. You want to buy some blue rock candy? Sorry, Felipe, we already bought some. Where did you get that from? Jeffy's selling it. Oh, let me try this shit. Woo! Shit's good. A little too good. My father needs to hear about this. Papi! All right, kids, Sebastian's in the car now. But as we were going to say, blue rock candy is illegal now because all that sugar causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer, which is cancer of the teeth. Hey, you, what the hell is that? <laughs> kids, what, Penelope? Hi, Dad. Where did you get this blue rock candy from? Uh, it's Cody's, he bought most of it. Yeah, it's all Cody's. Where did you get it from? I ain't snitching, I'll die for my homies. Not talking, huh? Well, I guess you're coming with me down to the station. Fuck you, pigs, I'll use my one phone call to call your Mom! Another batch done. All right, Danny, I sold half the bag at school and made 124 bucks. Jeffy, you goober! Half that bag alone is worth two grand. But they were my boys, so I had to hook them up. You don't have any boys in this industry, Jeffy. The only boys you got are dead presidents. Oh, like George Washington and Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, those are your boys. All right, well, I promise I'll do better. But what happened was I had to get them hooked. And once you get them hooked, then they come back and spend even more money. But Jeffy, I need 10 grand by tomorrow. So get your ass back out on that street and go door to door and sell more of this blue candy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Wasting my time cooking. Who's that? Hello? Hey, Essen. Oh, hey, amigo. I will have you your money by tomorrow. I sure will. Word on the street is that you've been cooking blue rock candy. Blue rock candy? I don't know how to make that stuff. Then why aren't you dressed like that, huh? I'm deep cleaning my kitchen. Don't lie to me, Holmes. I know you've been cooking it. Listen, I'm just trying to pay your money by tomorrow. You're stealing my operation and my customers. Well, I I'm not trying to. But my son did bring me some of your stuff, and it was good. It was good? Yeah, so go in there and show me how you make it. Well, I'd rather keep it a secret. I you. Oh, okay, come on. Okay, look, this is how I make it. I put the sugar in the dye, then I put it on the pan, and I put it in the oven. I'll be taking this. Consider it a prepayment. Well, okay, look, I'm just trying to get you your $10,000 so I can be done. Forget about the $10,000. You work for me now. Work for you? For how long? Forever. Until the day you die. Well, what if I refuse? Then I'll just cut your eye out and cut your arm off. Well, are you at least going to pay me? Your payment is that you'll get to live. Listen, you just keep making this blue rock candy, and I'll be back later for more money. Oh my god, what'd I get myself into? <laughs> Who's that? Hello? What? The cops! Hey there, Marvin. You deep cleaning? Uh, yeah, deep cleaning. What do you fine officers want? Fine? You hear that, Simmons? He called us fine. Why are your eyes red? Oh, I got Windex in my eyes. Oh, I hate when that happens. Well, listen, Marvin, the reason I'm here is that I think I lost my favorite pen around your couch when I was telling you you had cancer. And you do still have cancer. You should probably get that taken care of. Oh, well, I just cleaned around my couch. I didn't see a pen. Oh, can I come in and look? Because it might be, like, under your couch. Well, I lifted up the couch. It's not under it. Oh, well, can I use your bathroom? Because I really got a tinkle. Well, I just cleaned the toilet. Toilet that I don't want you peeing all over the toilet seat. Oh, that's fair, because I do like to piss all over the seat. Hmm. Well, can I come in and have a drink? Because I'm pretty thirsty. Oh, I just poured out all the drinks in the refrigerator because they were expired. Wow. Well, can I at least have some tap water? I had my water turned off because I'm dying of cancer. I don't need water anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that does make sense. Well, can I come in and look at your furniture? Because I'm furniture shopping and I want to show Simmons your couches. Okay, make it quick. Okay. See, Simmons, look at this couch. It's really nice. And I think it's a pullout, too. I never pull out of your mother. Ew, Simmons, ew! <laughs> Is that a woman screaming? No, 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 I think that's just the TV. Something's wrong. Simmons, come on. No, 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 no. All right, Simmons, where did that woman scream come from? In here, in here! I think it came from in here. Hmm, let's see. Oh my god! Well, that's not what it looks like. Look, I don't know what kind of weird kinky shit you guys are into, but I don't want to see it. No, he tied me up and banged me in the head! I, I, I don't need to know where he banged you, okay? I'm just gonna close the door. No, 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 no! Look, I'm really sorry for interrupting. I'll get out of your hair. <laughs> 
Wait, Simmons, you smell that? Yeah, blue ass. I left a little rosebud in my kangaroo pouch. No, not that, Simmons. I smell blue rock candy. To the kitchen! What no! Oh my god, Simmons, we just walked in on a giant candy lab. Willy Wonka would be proud. You're going to jail for a million billion years. That's how illegal this is. No, I'm sorry. I just needed the money. Put your hands behind your back. Wait, wait is that a human head? That's murder. That's at least another hundred years. Yeah, put... What? Amigo, you saved me! Damn right I did now. Where's my money? Uh, money? Uh, well, I didn't sell any more since you left. Oh, that's not very mucho gracias, Bato. Now cut up these bodies and put them in acid. And you better have my money by the time I get back, or else... <laughs> oh, man, what am I gonna do? I is he gone? I think so. Oh, God, that really hurt. I just didn't want him to kill us, so I used Ninja Focus to slow down my breathing and heart rate. Well, well you know I didn't do anything wrong. Like, he's making me do all this. Yeah, we heard the whole thing. I mean, it's not like you're doing this on your own. Uh... No, I never. Right, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I got a plan to kill that guy because nobody hits me with a bottle. Come on. Okay, so Simmons is standing guard outside that door in case the cartel guy comes back. When I get my tuna fish! We'll get it in a minute. Hold on. Okay, so here's the plan. Whenever the cartel guy comes back to get his money, you're going to tell him Tuna Fish Terry has his money, so he comes to see Tuna Fish Terry. Now, I hooked up a bunch of explosives inside that wheelchair, and they're connected to that bell. So whenever Tuna Fish Terry rings the bell, it'll blow up the wheelchair, killing both Tuna Fish Terry and the cartel guy. But when I get my tuna fish! You'll get it when the cartel guy is dead! Jesus! He doesn't know he's going to die. Why don't you just arrest the cartel member? Because that's lame. This is way cooler. I saw it in a TV show, and I want to try it. He's coming! Oh, he's coming. I'll hide behind the couch. Uh. Hey, I say, check out this book I got my kids. El Gato and Sombrerato. It's by this Dr. Sussman. He's crazy with the pictures. Check this shit out, man. This Gato is crazy. He puts a cake on his head. My kids are going to love this shit, man. Oh, wow. But you have kids? Oh, see. Si. Yeah, my kids would die without me. They love me so much. Especially since I'm the only thing they got because their mother died. Their mother died? Oh, yeah. I had to cut her head off because she didn't pay me my money. Speaking of, where's my money? Huh? Oh, uh, huh? uh, he has it. Okay. Where's my money? Uh, oh, oh, I think I just heard the oven go off. I, I have to get the candy out of the oven. Okay. Listen, I don't want to kill an old man, okay? What are you doing? Oh, I see. I see. Is a servant going to come and bring me my money? Oh, that was so cool. He was like, Pow! and then he was like, Ugh, I'm dead. Oh, that was way cooler than arresting people. But he had kids. Yeah, so what? You have kids. He was going to kill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs and throw away all that blue rock candy. Just don't let me catch you with it ever again. You got it? Okay. Okay, so there's another thing. Uh, I've been looking at your lung x-ray, and you do not have lung cancer. That little black speck right there is actually a Skittle. If you look closely, you can actually see the S. See, I was eating Skittles when I took the x-ray, and I guess I just dropped one in there. So, yay! No cancer. Hey, Nanny! I sold Wicked Glass what? until I got your $10,000 so now you can pay the mortgage. Jeffy, you made $10,000 selling rock candy? Absolutely, Daddy. I move weight. These are my streets. Well, we don't even really need the $10,000 anymore because the mortgage guy's dead. Oh, shibby. Yeah, so I guess we don't have any problems. Hey, Daddy, how about we take these 10 Gs and go blow it at the arcade? Okay, Jeffy, let's go. Woo! Um, Marvin? Jeffy? Someone? Please get me out! Tell me like 
Y sonrío siempre influyendo Con cada cambio seguimos creciendo A veces es calma, a veces tormenta en cada, en cada giro de la vida nos enfrenta Cambiando con la vida Como las hojas al viento Encontrando nuestro camino En cada momento, momento A través de las sesiones a través del tiempo, cambiando con la vida, en su eterno movimiento. Eh, oh, oh, oh. Cada amanecer trae una nueva oportunidad, de dejar atrás el miedo, de buscar la verdad, con cada paso da.
to become bad being